Come enjoy historic downtown Sanford, Florida at the most unique stay in Sanford. It is the historic Tom and Dan house. It's the Sanford house. Yep. You can go to bookairtnd.com. Uh, honestly, if you go to uh, Airbnb and search uh, Sanford, pops uh, right up. Yeah, ours is one of the top now. It just became a super host, by the way. Hey, uh, congratulations! Buddy. Um, and uh, so, if you're looking to go Sanfording, uh, check out all the dates available at bookairtnd.com. Uh, lots of weekdays. Uh, we lowered the price to 125 for weekdays now. There you go. Um, Perfect and, for Wednesday and Thursday nights that are still good for partying. Yep, and some weekends that are open in August, September. Um, but we got to thank some of our great sponsors that helped us with our Airbnb. Um, one of them being the sponsor that took care of all our beds. And yep. our beds are awesome. They're adjustable. They will go they to have, zero G. Yeah, they have zero G settings. They can go fully flat. They have snore. You hit a button to like reduce snoring. Yeah. They uh, they also massage feature. They massage feature. They have the cooling techniques. Well, that hyper chill mattress, it really does make a difference. Uh, uh, Brendan O'Connor just stayed at our Airbnb. And he said it was the best pillows you've ever slept on because they're cool on one side and the other side, like they get the hyper chill technology. Yeah, they're so really cool. It keeps your pillow cool. Same thing with the mattress, too. Your mattress is always cool with the hyper chill mattresses. And like I said, the uh, adjustable frames and the beds. It's awesome. Um, and he's got all sizes. Here's how you find the information if you text Tom and Dan Bed. Just all one word, Tom and Dan Bed, to 321-521-2327. You'll get a list of everything that's in yep. our Airbnb. All the different uh, adjustable, uh, you know, mattresses, frames, frames, the mattresses, yeah. Yeah, uh, the pillows. And Greg, the mattress man, he can help you out. Um, no pressure. All his information is on there if you're looking Greg, for... Greg, the mattress man. Yeah, well, that's what I'm calling him. <laughs> wear, Medium uh, Greg. Hello, yeah. it is me, Greg. He, the, he looks like Willy Wonka. He's being... Medium Greg, the mattress man, and also uh, we got really cool custom Adirondack chairs with uh, Tom and Dan Dreaming logo on them. Yeah, they're awesome, and you can buy those, and yeah. you can basically get any team you want on there. Yeah, he's got all the licensing for all the NCAA teams, yep. NFL teams. He's going to check it out. Uh, WCW, is that a uh, WWF? Well, WWE. WWE. There you go. But he, Third time's the charm. He has the licensing for all the if brands. If you want an Undertaker chair, you can yeah, get one. MyCustomChair.com. Also, if you want any BDM logo, Tom and Dan logo, they're really cool, like Pollywood, uh, Adirondack oh, they're, chairs. They'll last they're forever. And if you yeah. want our logo, like Tom said, uh, yeah, just do it, man. We'd love for you to get a Tom and Dan chair. Yep, that's uh, mycustomchairs.com. But if you're looking for a place to go Sanfording, it's bookairtnd.com. Uh, what else we got, Joey? Um for the theme park wise, mm. uh, I'm sure you've heard about Splash Mountain. Yeah, it's official. It's it getting rebranded. Yeah, really. Yep, Disney. So what happened is a lot of people said, "Well, you know, Disney said we're we're offended and we're appalled at everything that's going on, so we're changing Splash Mountain to the Princess and the Frog," and they did that during all of there was a lot. Of, I'm not going to muddy the waters, but things were happening, and then all of a sudden nobody talked about it anymore. Nobody. T- it was like it never happened or never was going to happen. And then people got mad and the Twitter verse and blew up. And all of a sudden it was like, all right, so here's the deal. It's going to cost us $300 million. Shut up. We're doing it. So they're changing Splash Mountain to the Princess and the Frog. And Be- because Splash Mountain is racist that- AF. Yeah, 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 it's Song of the South. Song, yeah, yeah. Doesn't, you know. Translate yeah, well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Not the best Disney movie, Song yeah. of the South. There's a reason it's not on Disney Plus. It's right under Lightyear. Yeah. <laughs> Lightyear, <laughs> Light, people are hating on some Lightyear, man. They hate they? On, yeah, oh, but they're like so They're boring. mad about Tim Allen not being are, the damn voice. I, oh, you well, know what? And not, they got that one right. Not my Who said that? No. I said that. He's an old man. Doesn't Doesn't that's the toy voice. Be, exactly. Give me, give me yeah. Tim Allen. This other guy, who's the guy that did the voice? Chris. It's Chris Helmsworth. Yeah. No, the other Chris. Oh, Chris Pratt. No, the other Chris. No, the other one. Oh, God. Chris. The, the other, other uh, the, oh, yeah. Evans? Evans. 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 Yeah. Hey, you're sorry. You've done too much. Give it, Give me old Tim Allen. <laughs> uh, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> so, yeah. oh, give me some tool time. Okay. Yeah, give me More the old, power. Give me the old tool time. So I know that Disney has standards. And we've when we've talked about like Universal and we've you know, gone behind the scenes and they told us how much stuff costs and like in the parades and like yeah. the, the replicas. The thing that bothered are, you was the animatronic cat. <laughs> <laughs> it, was it wasn't an animatronic. It was, it was just the statue. Yeah, 
was just a statue. Uh, I think his tongue went side to side. Yeah, yeah, was like, was what was it? It was like $116,000. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like a, a tiny <laughs> yeah, like Life of Pets uh, statue. Yes. It was 100000 Yeah, it was ridiculous. So <clears throat> $300 million yep. seems like you could do it for less, right? Oh, it, a ride? Yes. Well, like revamp the ride. <laughs> you could do it for less. Like so, someone's charging them too much. Like that's absurd. Well, a lot right? of these. Well, I don't know. Three hundred million. I million? assume they're not changing any of the mechanics, right? It's just yeah, yeah, going to yeah. be a retheme. Like it's, so, <laughs> you know, oh Joey may know, but there's uh, they, and they ripping well, everything for sure out. They, they can't have the briar patch because that's straight up from Song of the South, so they have to change that to something New Orleans yeah. theme. So that's all going to have to be changed. But are, are they? But the track, I don't think, is going to change. Yeah, okay, so the track, the well, same the, splash. The, the ride's the hardest part, right? Like they, yeah, right. that's what I'm saying. They it's typically just, come from like Nordic countries, do a lot of that, and China does a yeah. lot of that. You know, Japan I'll, does a lot of that. I'll give you three hundred million if they have to rip everything out and then build a now, new ride. If but if no, they're just redesigning the I stuff you, you look I, at, no, three hundred million. I bet you, I got it. I bet you, I know <sighs> what they have to do, and this is where it sucks, and it's worse than you think. I bet you they do have to rip everything out, but I bet you they put that same right ride right back in. Yep. I bet you they have to pull everything out, rebuild it, then put the ride back in place. That's why it costs so much money. The ride stays the same. They just change the stuff around it. But in order to do it right, they have to like they have to rip up. it out because again, we're doing it right. We're not doing it like Tom and Dan would do it. If it were yeah, me and yeah, you, yeah. we'd just go in there and paint it and be I like, "It's open." But based on like the cat from uh, you know the Life of Pets costing a hundred thousand for just a statue yeah. of like it was three foot tall. Yeah, whatever. It was crazy like, expensive. <clears throat> that tells me that like doing all this stuff and bringing in the best uh, like artists and sculptors, no, all new the, sound. And like and all that stuff, like all new lights. They're paying some absurd amount that is insane to me. Like the one section of just the visual of that could cost like yeah. you know five hundred thousand dollars. And to me, it's just like well, it seems like too much. You no, know, because remember the Q line is going to need all new animation, all yeah, new yeah, voiceovers, yeah, all new. I know. Then you're going to need it's all, crazy. Then you're going to need all the press. Million. Then you're going to need to roll it out. Then you're going to need actors to uh, <laughs> to work in that area to give the illusion that it's New Orleans. Now you're gonna, you know how many alligator costumes yeah, you're yeah. going to need with a purple <laughs> umbrella? You need all of that. It's crazy. It, 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 and when you factor that all in, I bet you that's how you get to that number. Oh, yeah. man. Well, it's going to be cool. But I, I think I agree. The chat room is saying, and I'd like to see what everybody says uh, uh, kind of across the board, that Princess and the Frog is a little forced. I would agree with that. Absolutely. I think there's probably better choices. <laughs> Well, why not go with something newer, I guess? Uh, I think it's a good choice. How old is the Princess and the Frog? <laughs> oh, man. 15, 10, 10 years? Nine, I think, right? <clears throat> it's got to be over a decade. It was uh, Princess and the Frog was one of the, yeah, 2009. the, the last true uh, 2D animation deals, right? Or no? No, it, Shoot. I've never even seen that movie. It's a really good movie. I haven't either. I heard it's really good, though. We, I, I got some funny stuff. We'll is talk the about frog after. The, is the, the old kiss the frog? It yeah, turns yeah. into the prince, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I mean, loosely, yes. Ah, sort of. Yeah. But kiss the frog. The, <laughs> the, the concept yeah. of money lit me up whenever uh, the Hard Rock uh, Hotel here in Orlando is being repainted. Ah. And I talked to my buddy who's a valet, and I said, "Man, that's a lot of scaffolding." He goes, "Yeah, it cost a million dollars." I said to paint the whole hotel. He goes, "The scaffolding." Well, you also got to put the scaffolding up. Cost a million dollars. Yeah, yeah. Is, is more now, so yeah, I mean, yeah, it makes no. sense, especially in construction. You're right. Like the, the is, I guess once it get the scale gets that big, we as regular people, regular consumers, uh, we don't understand. But we're just like a million dollars for scaffolding. <laughs> like I remember when Orlando City paid thirty thousand dollars for balloons, Stop. and it blew my <laughs> mind. Holy, I hate that. But that, it was like that. for their MLS announcement, and the, like there's ornate purple balloons. There were sculptures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were like, but it's thirty thousand. Yeah. Like Thirty thousand. There were archways. They had a drop with a net. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I that mean, the more they're paying us for a year. <laughs> but you and I look at that and we're for like, balloons. "Well, how much are balloons?" But you got you're paying for the people, the vans, the gas, and the vans. I know, I the, know. Yeah. You know, the helium and the balloons. You know, it's, yeah. Just yeah. for a company to do that, uh, it has to be a gigantic company to even facilitate that. I don't know. Um, so, uh, so people are happy about this, or mad that it's the princess and the frog, or I, I think there's yeah. a mixture. Of both. Yeah. The chat room seems to be a nice 50 50. I think even on this show, we seem to be like kind of like about a 50 50. The one thing I will say is I think it's going to be good. 
Oh, it's going to be, be phenomenal. It's, it's going to be a great it. ride. You know, I mean, and they'll they'll do it right. The music, you know, I didn't think about that. The idea that they could have a lot of jazz, kind of, that's cool. Oh, that soundtrack is great. That yeah, that's going to be good. Like I, I plus and, like the like a lot of the movie is her in a boat going through like the swamps. It makes sense. You know what? I'm going to watch the movie and then see where I stand. But yeah, that I, that's a, that's cool. Yeah, I guess they only had a certain amount of options. They they couldn't do. A Buzz Light. You know what I'm saying? You're right. floating. A lot on. of people wanted Moana, which yeah. would have been good too. Oh, but yeah, Moana's Moana. going to be in that's, Epcot. They're I, giving I her a whole land. Maybe. Oh, that's, really? But yeah, not but, a ride. Yeah. Maybe that's where the negativity that, that I'm even, even, uh, I'm not being negative, but maybe if there's any, that's what you're feeling is because, man, I really do love me some Moana. It's like, out of film. all the Disney films recently, that's the one to me that I was like, yeah, that's, that's a goodie. Frozen, it got enough love. You know, it's fine. Let's call Frozen what it is. It's an hour and a half music video. Uh, The Frozen porno? I have not seen the Frozen porno. The tunes of that. I I have not seen uh, The videos are on there. It looks exactly like it. True Love's Kiss. (laughs) Um, Anyway. I'll watch that. (laughs) I'll definitely watch that. Um, As someone who screams it's for babies all the time about He loves cartoon porn. He loves a cartoon A lot of people don't know that about that. No, you know why? Most of our clients, that's what I start with. I go, before we start this client, meeting and see if you're a good fit to sign up for uh, being advertised on Tom and Dan. There's something I gotta get off my chest. My business partner loves animated pornography. <laughs> how do you feel about that? It, it was, you know how like uh, you get traumatized and then all of a sudden you have like a fetish This of all that started or, from <laughs> cool uh, This all started oh, yeah. from was, Marge Simpson, no. Big Blue Bush. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. From the, the movie Cool World. Yeah. And they started, and then all of a sudden Brad Pitt That he's movie banging. screwed up up, Gen Z, what are you like? All you guys are weirdos because of Cool World, <laughs> nah, dude, cartoon loving weirdos. <laughs> Jessica Rabbit, it was Jessica Rabbit. I for me. Look, look. I'm dumb old man. I like a good old human bush. <laughs> you cartoon bush lovers, you well, weirdos. I, because I was exposed to it at the I know. right You and window. Joey are yeah. younger. You're perverts. You're yeah, cartoon yeah. perverts. Not perverts. The media well, did it to us. Yeah, yeah. It's their fault. Like, You're victims. And victims. Then, and then, <laughs> don't victim shame. Dan. Our parents aren't watching us, so they're like, "Yeah, hey, watch this cartoon," but it's not. It's a Brad Pitt. He's banging. In the cartoon, yeah. and I'm like, oh my god! Remember her name, Hollywood? Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> dude. was it really? Yeah, Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good memory. Yeah, when yeah. did you watch hey. that? How old were you? <laughs> Eight, well, but when did it come out? Ninety, I think. 1984. Oh my gosh, oh, for real? I was born in 82. Same. So you were two years old when you got into <laughs> no, 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 Oh my god, god you're young. a super. <laughs> I, was like, I was like six or seven or yeah, eight. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, yeah. Apologies, 1992. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah it was, I was 10. 10. Yeah, yeah, 10 years old. When's your birthday? It was PG 13. February 15th. Ah, uh, you got me by a few months. Yeah. And guess who, pl- you know yeah. who played Hollywood? Kim Basinger. Basinger, yes. Or Basinger, however you yeah. say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Schwing. And, man, Sam, you could cosplay a little Hollywood I've if you wanted to. I've never seen Cool World. Uh, it doesn't know, hold Don't waste yeah, your time. Yeah, 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 it's garbage. Okay. I mean, if you were a young boy looking to get a boner, I'd say fire it up, yeah. but you're not. It, All right. it was around Fair. the same time of Who Framed Roger. It was the yep. technology. I love Who Framed Roger Rabbit, though. I watched that. I wore that VHS tape out. Oh, I bet oh, you did. God. You pervert. Hey, you would, yeah. victim. You would, victim. You would, you would so it was like, we can add <laughs> cartoons to the film. And then, they, and then it was the biggest technology. I it was remember, and stupid. I remember thinking. <laughs> it wasn't impressive. For a split second, because I was not. I mean, I'm not as young as you. I'm five years older, so I yeah. would have been like 15, I guess, when it came out. But I remember thinking, like. Maybe one day we will get to marry cartoons. <laughs> you know? yeah, 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 yeah. Like, Who knows, man? There's yeah. logic there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't that bright. No, I'm right with you. <laughs> All right, Joey. Um, anything else for parks, or you want to move on to a uh, parlay? Uh, parlay, I got a good one. Okay. Um, rep in Orlando City. All right, let's bet. Um, oh, God. Tr- Orlando City yesterday was abysmal. And that's kind of why I, I took this. <clears throat> Excuse me. What I'm looking at now is. Neither team really matters in this one with Orlando and Miami because Orlando's basically out and Miami's basically in. So I'm going to take the draw. The draw is plus 260. All right. Parlay I, it. Oh, good. I see your logic there where uh, neither team has anything to gain, right, uh, necessarily. I feel like you could read my mind on this. Think about this. If neither team has anything to gain, what are we also going to see none of in this game? Think soccer. Well, uh, you know, attempts on goal, uh, or is it, like, what, what are you talking about? You can get an extra plus 120 if there's no red cards. Because who the hell's going to foul? Can I, I can what? say that, right? 
Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who the hell is going to foul anybody? Who needs a red card? Okay, they're, they're... I didn't. I didn't think about the level of intensity. They're not playing for. A, 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 am I correct? And they're not playing for a, a playoff spot. Are we already that at that point? Of we're the already season? out, and they're already in. Oh, I didn't know we were already out. Oh, so that's, that's terrible. So think about that. No team has anything invested. Nobody wants to hurt their players. Yeah, they'll play more well, clean. Well, Miami's I mean, probably going to play. Uh, you know, a lot of subs or like not their starters. Right? Exactly. Yeah. So you can take it up to plus six twenty if it doesn't meet two and a half points. So I'm taking draw, no red cards, under two and a half at plus six twenty for one game. That, that's really bucks. good. I actually. like that bet. Yeah, I actually. Joey, that might be your best bet so yeah. far. Well, he had to redeem himself after he got the thing wrong. He made you mad. Yeah, yeah. For and plus, now knowing you guys are both victims of cartoon pornography, now you, <laughs> you can parlay all those together. Correct. Okay. But again, it's plus six twenty. But you got to meet three legs. But all three legs are pretty sound. It's totally doable. Yeah, so yeah. hundred bucks gets you six uh, sixty two hundred bucks. That, that would uh, be amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's a good bet. Yeah. I'm gonna uh, check my books. And that's see not if bad at all. Available. Sometimes, mm-hmm. like some and books, City's not a bad team. They haven't been playing well, but they're a good team. Like, yeah, that's a good correlated parlay in the fact that uh, one correlates to the other. Uh, although some books won't let you do too closely correlated parlays because you have an advantage, obviously. Of course, um, oh. but. I think. Yeah, yeah, yep. <laughs> oh, what did I say? Am I in trouble? Yeah, you're, I don't my know. EJ, the chat yeah, is yeah. disagreeing. See, here. I didn't think that we were in the playoffs yet either. It says we are above Miami in the table, and nobody is talking about playoffs. Yeah. And Tommy G says wrong season. Yeah. That, that's still, uh, still months uh, left uh, in the season. Uh, all right. Yeah, so write it down. I'm writing Joey. Write it down. down. <laughs> well, strike two. That's One more. We got two Joeys written down. Three Joeys written down. And you might I'm be out. out. I'm out. I'm gonna get replaced. There was a Joey that Tom used to have that was his intern. That whole. <laughs> Do you remember that? Oh, I remember him. Do you remember uh, that, Joey? Oh, Ross and Bully. Yeah, well, Ross, that's that's so Ross had to tell that guy to breathe. Ross, like, remind that guy to breathe. Ross, like, you need to breathe. Wait, where's the camera? Tom and Dan, listeners, I'd like to apologize on behalf of this past segment. Oh, oh you got us all fired up for a bet that's not even real. You know what? Go in there yeah, and I make love to that cartoon. Yeah, I knew it wasn't too good oh, to be told. I deserve that. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. So, so the accurate- At least we figured it out before we went to Brown. Oh, that's great, Joey. Good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. So the accurate Tom information. Tom did say it was the best Benny ever <laughs> said on the show, and then it was wrong. Uh, uh, I, I that's on me. That's on me. I deserve it. All it's of it. Fine. Bring so, the hate. I'm so sorry. They went fast. It's fine. So they all still are playing for something. Uh, what's uh, Orlando City? Uh, they're not out of the playoffs. No, uh, but those are. Well, then so here's either. the question. Those are the current. The. Though the information I found on the internet is wrong, but the booking is correct. Like that's off of the booking website. So, so the odds gonna, are correct. The odds yeah. are correct. So I'm still going to take that math though. Well, hell yeah, no, that's still. I mean, not, it's not as, as good, good as, as bet. a bet because, <laughs> because I was like, yes, you're like because that's what makes a good bet is looking at the situations and then looking at all right, what's what could be the edge here? What's the motivation? I mean, there are things like that. I mean, if you're talking about gambling as a whole, like motivation does play into it. Although uh, every every player wants to play as good as possible because or as well as possible because they want to impress their coaches, they want to look good, well, they want to put up good stats. Lineup, yeah, yeah. Know, a- yeah. And every team and every person on a- uh, every professional team is super competitive and they want to win. Like they they go in there wanting to win. But I do feel like there is this overall understanding by everybody that's unspoken. Hey, let's not hurt ourselves. Let's not. Oh, the coach like, will say that. Let's not put our Careers in jeopardy and jeopardy for a game that may not matter for the long run. You know what I'm saying? Like so, although they will try 100 percent and they're professionals and they want to win, I believe there's unspoken like uh, agreements yeah. within everybody because they're professionals. Well, like, I, let's I, not hurt ourselves. A lot of they do this true. in the NFL too, like meaningless games. Uh, a lot of times you could find edges in because they're going to substitute players, maybe not start all the starters, and like that does happen. Although they they do want to win. And I don't believe they any team uh, loses on purpose. Yeah, but, I agree uh, with that. Yeah, because why it doesn't it's not advantageous to anybody or for any player to not try as hard. Um, yeah, I, I agree with that. Especially, the, I I do believe now more than ever, um, the internet m- makes everybody. Uh, 
uh, try as hard as they can because it, they'll point out like now with well the, we're on the internet right now and I got to tell you I'm barely trying <laughs> <laughs> no but it's like the, if you are like a wide receiver that doesn't run a route as hundred hundred percent or you know like uh, let's let's say you don't oh you'll try, get called out on Twitter yeah a hundred percent yeah hundred oh, percent they'll show the clip and of, it's and usually then, kids that do it and I hate seeing it a Twitter feed where it's like a little kid kids like twelve and he's like look at yeah. Julio Jones lazy ass and I'm like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in the day, I think players, especially non televised games and stuff, or like non prime time televised games, you could, like you could kind of fade in. Yeah, yeah you're right. Like people would. I have not, never thought of that. Not try as hard because they're like, who, like uh, you Who know, cares? Just like, go through. The, I'll just I'll just fake the route. This is not a national broadcast. Not this is just deal. local, and like yeah. you know, I'm not going to try as hard. Yeah. And games that don't matter and stuff. But now you, you'll be called out instantly on the internet, and your career could be jeopardized by uh, not going. 100%. Yeah, well, that it comes into play. You see people start calling out uh, receivers for their... Uh, it's funny, because you do see that on Twitter, calling them out for their... Um it's like their, uh, what do you call that, effectiveness or their, their, yeah. their, uh, like, uh, their zest for even one. Do you even want to play this game? Yeah. No, I mean, this happened one time. I forgot what quarterback it was, but uh, it was the old. Um, they were running the Wildcat, and the quarterback just goes off uh, and plays a wide receiver just because uh, a yeah. quarterback has to cover him. So it basically, but he just, he doesn't even, do, he just stands there. I think it was Brady <laughs> one time or whatever. Like, he, the old, like an older quarterback, and he's not doing anything and people are calling him out they're like look at it just standing there <laughs> because he wasn't even going to try because yeah. all he is is a decoy to, to that cornerback but the internet called you out you know if you uh you don't try 100 you're, you're 14 and 2 just play the second string so yeah, for sure um joey got another thing wrong today right <laughs> oh. and we'll right see two. next time yeah, we yeah. have men although uh at least it wasn't the yeah we corrected portion. it here yeah uh, yeah 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 Everything uh, about the parks uh, seemingly correct. Uh, seemingly, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll find <laughs> out. We'll find out. Yeah, we'll Tune find in out. next month. Oh, they, they, you know what's funny is they don't not let us know. Oh, we'll know for sure. Hey, always good seeing you, man. You too, is there guys, anything you, you need to plug? No, nah, I just want to say thanks. And uh, if this Orlando City, if I do still win this, I'm bringing pizza next week. Right. All right. All right. All it's an right. act of contrition. I owe it. That sounds great. So since we're uh, we only got a little time left, let's talk when you can leave your kids at home because this morning uh, and we we're starting the Twitch show with this. I so. think you should be able. Able to um, d- leave them there as long as you're on the phone with them. Well, I feel like you should mm. be able to leave them there because, as long as you want. Because, like you said, <clears throat> you could leave Maisie at home for two hours. Oh, I could leave her for 24. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying, <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. For, if you just said like I'm going to leave her at home now, she's seven years old, so uh, way under, the, I guess, the legal limit, which is weird that it's 12, like uh, 12, uh, whatever it is. Uh, like, in Florida, yeah. In, wow, yeah. what are we, Alabama? 12? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That like it seems like a uh, Maisie is so independent that I would bet my entire. Every oh, dollar salary, that, she'd be fine. Then if you left her at home for even six hours. I went outside this weekend and cleaned the garage for two hours, and she didn't say a word. She just <clears> stayed upstairs. Yeah, that she would just watch her iPad. She would make herself something. Now, my boys would be hungry by the time I got back. She'll cut the crust yeah, yeah. off her bread. She'll turn on the yeah. TV when she needs it. She knows how to run every device in the house. Apple TV, Xbox. She knows how to run it all. Yeah, yeah. Nintendo, everything. And uh, also, if there was an emergency, she could get out of the house herself. Yep. You she know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And she's she, more capable than I am barely walking. She can, my back. They know not to answer the door for anybody that's not. Yeah, she yeah, uses yeah. the ring on her iPad. Yeah, yeah. And so it's like, it would be She's 100% like it's Amazon okay. with my, you're late, Amazon. <laughs> but we don't do it. Like, uh, I know my wife will never leave my sons right, as, right I, now I at like, home. I feel like you can do it. You just can't say anything. <laughs> when do like you think she would be comfortable leaving them 35, home alone? 35. Well, she's paranoid. Uh, so she would be uh, terrified that some crazy anomaly. The murderer. Yeah, yeah. Like, or that the house is going to burn. Like <laughs> some sort of catastrophe that's never going to happen. And it would torment her so much that every single second she left them it wouldn't even be worth doing it you know because have they done <clears> sleepovers <throat> at another kid's house no but i think they would because they they never like uh, Maisie's always doing sleepovers we let her sleep out during the week she's like a homeless person they don't do that move where they're like freaked out if we leave them somewhere like they're no. fine with l- they're us chill dudes with us leaving them anywhere so they and they it's you guys us, not them they're fine like i thought i was gonna one wheel to 7-eleven uh for some white claw the other day and uh the old my, badly uh, <laughs> 
to go get his alcohol. First time for everything. <laughs> Try that, huh? Yeah. I'm familiar with this. I am just I'm a just... future version of DUI dad <laughs> on moped, right? Yep. Like, DUI dad gets on scooter to go get his white claw, yeah. but future DUI dad gets on a one wheel. Oh, it's going to be really embarrassing when you get a DUI on that one wheel. No, no you can't, can't do it. That's not He'll outrun thing. the cops. It's <laughs> Castleberry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They hands up, don't shoot. Um, but, and then uh, I didn't do it because Crystal would have got mad, but I was like, the boys will be fine. Well, how they wouldn't would, even let me know ask you this. How would Crystal know? We got to get you through this. You've never been a guy. Because the boys would rat me out. I'm not saying Damn. lie. I'm yeah. not saying lie to your wife. I don't urge anybody to lie to your Just wife. If you lie to your wife or your <laughs> spouse, your spouse. If you lie to your spouse, you're a bad person. But you don't need to offer up every piece of information that you do. Tommy would rat me out. Uh, really? Yeah, not on purpose, but he, my wife would trick him into telling her there's the truth so many her. cameras in your house now <laughs> i had to walk back during the fireworks and take a number two at your place i apologize <laughs> oh, for camera that. In there. i also cleaned the bowl yeah i saw it yeah um you think it's hidden but it's staring yeah. and it's in its genitals level what yeah the, he has a camera like in the bottom like under where the sink is he has a camera in the bathroom there that's too far no, no come on there's, there's cameras everywhere um, we just got an outdoor camera. Like it's only outdoors. Uh, it's got the oh, you're sign not on it. Seth. No, <laughs> it's got uh, the sign on. It's like you are on camera. But <laughs> the uh, I th- I'm like every time a pool float uh, blows by, yeah. it sets off oh, the murderer. The alert, and my wife's <laughs> looking at it. It's a pool float. It's the murderer. And I'm like, what? There's nothing you're ever gonna see there. It's, it's always gonna oh be a God, pool float. It's the ghost of Ted Bundy. Maybe a <laughs> raccoon or a uh, burn pest control foam pool. <laughs> 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 That's, your, that's what I was like. I'm glad we did it because <laughs> I watched that yeah. video and laughed. I was having a bad day. I, I text Joe back. Burn. Let me rewind. <laughs> fast forward. Rewind. Can... Fast forward. Rewind. Fast forward. Look, I make him go fast. <laughs> um. Anyway, uh, let's get out of here. All right, uh, Joey. Thanks as always for Thank being you. here. We're gonna take a quick break. Come back with more at corporate time right after this. Welcome back to a corporate time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk worms. Uh, let's talk worms. Let's talk worms. Okay, I go to the back doctor today, and uh, my back is in a bad way, and apparently I need an epidural. Yeah, yeah I thought that was only for pregnant Yeah, I'm having, a, I'm having a baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of the listeners don't know this, but I am currently with child, and in a ma- like 10 days, they're going to give me an epidural, and I'm going to poop out a baby. <laughs> Doesn't the... Okay, my wife had one twice for both uh, kids. My and wife had one twice <laughs> for one kid. And they No, she had once. Uh, they the tube that they put the medication in. I wasn't allowed in there because there's only 3 people allowed in there. Ah. Uh. And it's the doctor, the anesthesiologist, and then, like, the patient, and then they're like, "Sir, you have to leave." And I'm like, oh, "That's my wife." And they're like, "Get out." <laughs> Um, they let me in, uh, let me stay in. Castleberry for Hospital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. they, uh, I bet they don't make you wear a mask in that one. No, no, it was a pre mask. Yeah, doctor's got a, yeah, doctor's got an Allison Chains t-shirt on. Anyway, the, uh, the tube had to remain in her spine the whole time to work. And then when they took it oh. out, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, her legs went, so I didn't know that they can give you an epidural and then it just the the effects are long lasting. I must be a different type of medication, right? Like the temporary epidural or a long. How does I, it work? I guess. I mean, the is chat room. Injection? The chat room is talking about uh, talking about it. Uh, we have some people saying we have Christine who's saying my mom got an epidural for slip uh, disc issue. It does help. Um, other people say that uh, Tracy, thank you. Tracy says the needle is big, big. Thank you, Tracy. That helps. And so, <laughs> is, is yeah, it just that's, that's helpful? Oh, uh, it's right in the spine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a, a big needle right in the spine. Yeah, that's helpful to me. <laughs> so, is it? Am just... I going to be? I asked the lady. I go, what are the risks here? Like, am I going to be uh, paralysis? There, yeah, am I going to? be... I mean, that's got to be one of them. Right? I don't want to be but Drake you... Degrassi Junior High. If you I was... started at the wheelchair, now I'm here. <laughs> if you screwed up, uh, I'm sure. It wouldn't be good. I mean, it, people have screwed up. Uh, is it like one of those things where as soon as it goes in, you're like, hang, oh, God, I think you did the wrong one. And it's like, Meh. Yeah, I think you know instantly. Yeah, yeah. It's right like, up. Uh, my yeah. feet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My feet. Yeah, yeah. Up. Right when you no can't, more feet. can't feel your pants on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, then it's like they did it wrong. They're like. Or and put like, too much. Oh, do I have pants on? They're like, sir, you have pants on. I'm like, damn it. You, you paralyzed me. So Can't feel my pants. At the actual doctor's office. You, okay, <laughs> what yeah, this is even the weird part that I need an epidural because my back is so rotten. So I'm sitting in a wall. Okay, 
Let's walk through the awkwardness that is the doctor. So the, the first thing that ha- – and I've been having a lot of, like, bad doctor's visits. It's not bad in that, like, I'm getting bad news. It's just, like, it seems like everybody's overworked and disorganized, and I get it. It's fine, and I'm really patient and polite. But when I got there, the lady goes, did you get your MRI? And I'm like, yes, I did. And they're like, where did you go? And I said, I apologize, but I do not remember where I went. And they're like, we don't have your results. And then the doctor screams from, like, down the hall. She's like, we got it! Like that, and I'm like, okay, well, I guess you got it. All right. So that's how I started off. (laughs) I mean, very confident. So then I went and I sat down in the chair. Mm. And the weird thing was, I I, I didn't know whether to get onto the table or sit in the chair because there's the chair on the side that's like for a. Old man, your wife would come along with you if yeah, you're yeah. a young. You can't remember what's uh, what the doctor told right? Or yeah. she usually goes, "He's hard of hearing. I can help. I can help." Yeah, yeah. You know, like that sort of. Stuff. Oh, Andrea would be sitting there. Somewhere. Oh yeah, she'll be there. She's, uh, who's, Surprise, she's not there. Who says she today? wasn't there? No, yeah, she yeah. wasn't there. So I'm sitting there, and uh, I had to decide whether or not I was supposed to hop up on the table or not. But here's how I knew that I wasn't supposed to be on the table. The uh, the nice black nurse there that was talking sweet to me did not pull out the step and say like come on up here baby like she didn't do any no, of that yeah, the dog so steps. then I yeah I, the dog steps exactly <laughs> I didn't need my dog ramp so I just sat in the chair uh. so I'm sitting in the chair and they do that move where they're like the doctor will be with you in a minute and they step out and close the door and you know when they say the doctor's gonna be with you in a minute like now the time is ticking you got a half an hour you're gonna sit back there oh, yeah. scrolling on yes. your phone until the doctor comes back yeah, everybody yeah. does it. and you hear I like it when you hear oh like, I put my ear to the wall. Like and peanuts listen. in the next room, where he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. I listen to <laughs> him too. Like, he's got to be close. He's next door, and then he leaves and doesn't come back for twenty I've minutes. I've heard him say <laughs> some terrible like, stuff. What are they doing? I've heard him say some terrible stuff. I've heard him just like chit chat, small talk amongst each other, nothing to do with the patient. You know? Oh yeah. Like, sometimes like, you hear man, small talk. Yeah. <laughs> I think they. But then I want the small talk too, so I'm like, it's okay. I'll get my small talk too. I don't want that. Do you I want think... all business and get me the hell out of here? Okay. Well, let's talk about that because if I w- w- were a doctor, right? Um, oh man. <laughs> I would know. I'm like, all right. Uh, I'm. I'm charging these people way too much, uh, and so I need. And they, you know, they pay a ninety dollar copay or whatever the hell. You know, it's like expensive. Not me, buddy. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, or whatever. You know, it's like <laughs> full it, price. They're mo- yeah, you're, they're paying money for this, so I have to draw the experience out so that it feels more valuable. Because if I just walked in immediately and then been like, all right, take this medicine, you know, yeah, get out of like we could do this over the phone. <laughs> like right, you know, right, like right. I could tell this person what I need to tell them over the phone. They didn't even. Have to come here. That's why I refused to go this last time to go over my blood results with my doctor because I got them from the Quest website. No need to. Why does she need to read me my? Well, to charge numbers. you ninety bucks for I'm the, not doing it. Well, a lot of times in. I don't even know what's good or bad, so I need them to like give I, me dig through the minutia because I don't know what's good. You know, <laughs> it's, yeah, you can work up on Google. Quest yeah. tells you. It tells you what yeah. your results it are, like and it little, tells you what it means. It has like a little slide. So like, what the hell do I need the doctor for? You just go through. Like, oh, red. Yeah, that, <laughs> that part's red. That means well, I got to give blood. But that's why. You need the doctor because sometimes it's red, and the doctor's like, ah, it's fine. It's supposed to be red. A little bit of red's good. But it depends on how red. It's like right. two points red, 100 points yeah, red. Yeah, that's bad. So what did you see? Okay, I'm sitting in the chair, and I'm waiting for the doctor to come in. And I look to my left, and on the floor is a <laughs> six to eight inch long brown and red, beefy, slimy earthworm. Okay. An earthworm. Did it have a bunch of dirt? Like, no. Cl- like a tattoo? Clean, worm. Like clean, clean worm. earthworm. Clean earthworm. Where'd it come from? That's what I said. I looked at the lady. <laughs> I, and, uh, you know, that's not something you bring in on your shoe. No, it's like, not. You know, like, where did it's it a come from? <laughs> like, the kind you fish with. Did it, like... Don't know. I took it as a bad sign. I took it as like a fearful <laughs> omen. You know, like you don't want the, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. You go into the doctor crow. and you look on the ground and you see the, did you see the earthworm's eye? <laughs> yes, I did. Oh, a thousand devils will haunt your dreams. You know, like that's did, what it seemed like. Did it come out of. It was the, moving and grooving too. It was wiggling and thrashing. <laughs> and Is I, there a sink in there? I said to the big black mama, I uh, said, there's an earthworm on the ground. <laughs> and she goes, just squish it. <laughs> that's what she said. So she, she said, just squish it. She said, just squish it. 
Like, and like I step said, on it? And I said, ma'am, I, I'm very polite. I'm like, ma'am, I don't want to get <laughs> it, it worm so, on my foot or your... They have, like, nice... Uh, faux, it's a you know, harmless worm. It's ca- well, yeah, I don't want to kill it. It has no. Yeah. It didn't. But ask- also, if you squash it, you're squashing. Oh, oh it's yeah. going to be a lot. It's going to be, gonna be a lot. Yeah, and like it, you're supposed to have like a clean, sterile, yeah. or at least it lo- looks to be sterile. Well, that's what my wife said. My wife said this is probably a Doctor's bad office. side. And then <laughs> the last text I got from Andrea was, "Do you need a different doctor?" <laughs> well, hold on. Let's talk about because they do not have dirt floors. By the way, like, it is not an open air market. It is not, I'm not in a bazaar. <laughs> <laughs> is I'm a not a flea world. It's not a wet market. Fauci. No, no, no. I mean, it is literally a reputable, brand new. Is a brand new building. The building is so new when you walk inside of it, it still has that like uh, it, commercial grade carpet smell. Were you on the first floor? First floor. Okay. So what, it's possible. To first floor. I mean, it had to wiggle fast to get in a door, though, right? Yeah, it would. I mean, I'd know. Get, it was a. It was a. It, it was carried in on somebody. It was a passenger. There's no way that thing made its way from the earth and then it journeyed through yeah, the doors. The, There's <laughs> no. I mean, if the it front did, door all the way down. We gotta the get to the bottom of if this. If this worm traveled without any help to where it was sitting, that I would shake his worm, whatever worm. <laughs> have. I'll uh, shake him and say, "Sir, you're our next president because you are capable." And this worm was totally alive and wiggling. Oh, around. wiggling! Okay. Yeah. Well, at maybe the end, it came in on someone's okay, lunchbox it was, that worked there. It was wiggling a lot. <laughs> I box. don't know. Okay. I got to figure it out. It was wiggling then, a lot until the point where I said to the nurse, "It was wiggling," and then it would stop. Like it was almost as if yeah, it tired. heard me. Yeah, it was no. It was almost as if it, it heard me. It's like. <gasps> Saw me. Yeah. Listen, I do a lot of digging. I don't know if you know. You guys know this, but you're the digging king of Castleberry. I run into earthworms while I'm digging, right? And big boys too, like this. Yeah, yeah. And um, they don't attach themselves to my sandals. They thrash. Yeah, they kind of like whack themselves all around. They're just trying to find another place to burrow themselves into the earth. You know what I'm saying? So it's uh, it's weird. I've never seen an earthworm like. You know, get stuck to your jeans it's or like something. A city you know? earthworm. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not like you know, some bug crawls it, up your jeans. You guys leg. just sparked a memory in my brain. I was at Disney Springs this weekend, and we were behind a lady, and I saw a roach crawl up her thigh. Yeah, oh, <laughs> and it happens. almost got up to her romper, but she yeah. finally felt it. <laughs> I'm like, how does that happen? Yeah. Some people live with roaches Oof. in their bodies. <laughs> so the the tech wanted you to squish it. Yes, and I refused. Yeah. Why? Well, in a nice way. But she didn't go down and try to like sweep it into a napkin or something and nope, throw it away? they ignored it. They acted as if it wasn't there. So then I ignored <laughs> it because I'm supposed to be there from my back. So I, as the doctor came in, I said, hey, there's a worm on your ground. And she's, again, and she's uh, uh, Japanese. I believe she's Japanese. And she was uh. like, just squish it. And I'm like, well, do you guys, is that the policy you guys have? Two women told me. They must have a lot of worms. And one lady was like, you need to squish it. And then the other lady was like, squish it. And I was like, well, okay, well, you're back. And I did, again, I I said, well, you know, we don't have to do that now. I'd (laughs) like to talk about my epidural in my back here. So we continued that conversation. And I left with him sitting there whacking his, uh, because they whack their heads and their feet. Oh, yeah, in the yeah. middle kind of stays uh, uh, sedentary, and then they kind of thrash with yeah. their... And he was just kind of whacking his parts around. Trying to burrow into the next... Into uh, the linoleum the, the or the, the tile or whatever it was. It, don't we I know him, as not. a society what to squish and what not to squish? I think you squish them all. <laughs> no, no, no. Megadeth. No, it's like... Or is that metallic? Well, you didn't want to squish the old worm. Like... I feel there are lots of like a ladybug. Who is stepping on a ladybug? You're, you're mm-hmm. on purpose, right? Don't do it around my daughter. My daughter loves ladybugs. Well, she would cry if, if you, you stepped on a ladybug. Like I'm if you see a ladybug flying around, you, you know you get it on a little piece of paper and you you shoot it outside. You're like my now, where wife, do we draw the line? Well, my wife mosquitoes will, I kill, ants I kill, roaches I kill. Yes, yeah, yeah. That my um, those are my my wife will kill lizards all those. I kill. No and then, lizards and then Great Danes and Golden Retrievers all kill. My no, wife. I, just no, I don't what about kill grasshopper. Lizard. No, no my, leave them alone. My wife will like, locust. Those will, things look scary. The yellow ones, leave them alone. Yeah, will alone. trap a spider and let it out. Yeah, like, she mm. won't kill a spider. I'm not going or, near a spider. I don't yeah. kill spiders anymore because I got I got burned one time smushing one with babies, and then it just gets out of hand. You just let them out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and if you know, like mosquitoes, ants, cockroaches, it, that's a smushing bug. Yeah, but. <laughs> I, when you worms, get, I don't think any worm you should no, squish. When you get the worms and lizards and things like yeah, that, squish you know, them. Like, uh, like remember the story 
about my, uh, you know, art teacher in sixth grade. He smushed a mouse. <laughs> like, he oh, stepped on a mouse. Some people's initial instinct it's is to smush. smush. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think we're smushers here. I don't know if it's a. What if it's a. Sam col- might be a smusher. What if it's a cultural I'm not thing? Smushing a worm. If they, if you had said, "Hey, there's a worm in here," and the and the lady said, "Smush it," would you have walked over? <laughs> well, <laughs> number one, like we said before we started recording, I would have never said anything. Um, oh yeah, yeah I would have yeah. just looked at the worm crawl across the ground. Yeah, you would have taken a couple photos. I didn't get a photo yeah. of it. Yeah, because I didn't, I wouldn't want to shame them. For me, now me and Sam. Oh, so you're saying different. it's like a Sam, cleanliness thing? Sam doesn't want to get in the just like she wants to mind her own business Correct. at all times and yeah. never even you know she's not like hey there's a worm she's like mind your business yeah that's you know, their worm don't even ask maybe he's getting an appointment I don't know yeah. <laughs> to, to me it's, I don't want to tell them because I don't want to make them feel bad oh my that God. their office is the disgusting. worm's back. <laughs> you know, like, what if they were like he's back? You mother. <laughs> well, I, sir, we asked you to leave. Now, what if it was like a snake? Would you tell him then? You I have, think you got to tell him. Yeah, it's a snake because yeah, it's, it's dangerous. A snake. Or we'll a see wolf. where the lines are. Yeah. Or like a wolf. <laughs> there's or a wolf in this way, ma'am. A mouse, you got to say something, right? Or no. So, what about mouse, Sam? You walk in, you see a little baby mouse in the corner. I would say something. Yeah, yeah, because now you have a see, rodent I think worm, infestation. No, worm is crazier to me than mouse. Mouse is like, look, you're yeah, in the middle in the walls. Of, you're literally in the middle of a an area that has nothing but restaurants. This doctor's office, it's a brand new doctor's office. It is completely believable to me that there's a mouse in their building. It's not believable <laughs> to me that there's a yeah. worm in their building. So I say, you say that there's a worm, you don't say anything about the mouse <laughs> because the mouse. It well, I guess. You know, with a rodent infestation, there's like a cleanliness thing. Worms, I don't think there's anything you could do to attract worms inside your, you know, because they just live in the dirt. So it's a complete anomaly. It, but it must have crawled in there because it fell out of the ceiling. It's not crawling it, it, through it, the pipes, right? It I mean, had, is there a sink in there? Yes. Uh, there is. There, you know, are li- worms known for being in sinks? Don't know. Sink worms are. Don't know. <laughs> I'd made that up. I don't know what that is. Oh, my buddy Fernando told me uh, that uh, a rat crawled in. He like he had some plumbing issues, and he left his uh, you know that the uh, hole outside of your house that's like the trap or whatever, like the plumbers use to get into your like main line or whatever. It's usually like a PVC screw on top that's just outside like you know, the window of your oh, house. Or yeah, we have, one, we have one for our we have one for this place yeah. right out there. I pour bacon grease down it all the time. <laughs> yeah. I think you're supposed to do that. Everybody has one, and like plumbers use it to get clogs out or whatever. But he added uh, the, the thing on. Plumber off, secret. And he's got uh, avocado trees, and, these, and it brings rats. Oh, and, and man. Ma- and he saw one running down into the pipe. And then he's like, oh, God, it went in there. And then. You got to smoke him out. So then his wife is freaked out. She, they was like, the rat's going to come into our toilets. And then he's like, no, that's, that can't happen. And then you talk to a plumber. He's like, oh, yeah, that can happen. Wait, so, you flush the toilet, he comes out of the toilet? <laughs> he, he, and, then, and then for the next month, he was terrified. He was yeah, taking but he, comes, a out, oh, no, but he comes out dead. It's not like the no. rat's going to come out and be like, daddy's home. You know, like, <laughs> bite your butt cheeks. <laughs> no, it's not going to bite your butt The plumber cheeks. said they could fake. swim and hold their breath fake, for a long no, time. fake they, news. Do they live in the sewer? Oh, Michael Phelps Oh, that's rats. true. They do they, live in the they, sewer. They could swim for an insane amount of time underwater. They don't hold their pipes. They hold their breath in the pipes. Deuce. That is not I, a real thing. That's what he said. The plumber and my you flush, you <laughs> flush your deuce, and then a rat comes up, bite your budget. <laughs> yeah, or it just comes out of the uh, hole. Rats are excellent swimmers with bendy bones and can squeeze into the smallest of spaces. They can hold their breath for up to three minutes. Oh my god! And tread water for three days. You Why had, are we killing these things? You had me at bendy yeah. bones because they're crazy. and they are. They do commonly come up waste pipes. It says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my, my, my wife would, would burn the house. <laughs> like she never, <laughs> she never used the toilet again. If, I would pour I concrete into the toilet and it <laughs> become the chair. Because every time you're sitting on it, you're thinking a like a rat's gonna pop up. Oh, there's a terrifying. video of it. Imagine oh, how scared you'd be uh, oh, of a rat, of a rat coming up a toilet. Yeah, I remember as heard. a kid, I used to think, uh, I used to think something would jump up and bite my balls or something. Like <laughs> or a snake, a yeah. Snake, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always a snake in the toilet. Uh, <laughs> although the rat, I think, is more likely. Um, anyway, it would need something to launch off of to to like jump bite. And yeah, it's yeah. not launching off of water. No, it would just be scratch. It wouldn't bite. It would probably just be scratching and you would just feel flailing some water around. Hitting hitting like, no! You'd feel some water <laughs> touching your buttocks. Oh, you'd hear a scratch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you'd oh probably make gosh. it like a... <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey. Oh, like little noises. Like, yeah. Oh, it's terrifying. If that happened just one time, you could never... 
live in your house again, right? <laughs> because you can never use your toilet again in peace forever. You never it, it, you, like I'm a logical guy. You have trauma from it and for I, sure. Like I'm a logical guy, and I understand the statistics, or at least I think I do. And I would say to myself, "Well, it happened once. It's statistically never going to happen again." But I could not use my toilet without thinking about the rat coming out of it again. Well, this is a new fear I never thought I'd have. Uh, <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks for a lot, that. dude. <laughs> we started with well, Doctor uh, Worms. Yeah, we were I, harmless with yeah, Worms. Doctor Worms, and now we're a toilet rat. I think that's why you're, <laughs> you're not supposed to leave that hole open because uh, things can crawl in there. Like other than that, it's not crawling through the city pipes. All you know, what I'm saying. Like I think there's some sort of uh, fail safe to from the street, but if it gets in right. In front of your house, oh, and then it just goes either one way or the other. Uh, if it chooses the wrong direction or, or the I, right, I don't like it's going to your toilet. Yeah, I very much dislike this. So, <laughs> um, so you left the worm there and just uh, yeah, and, I never. And seemingly, it's just there. I, so when I, you when you walked out, did you did you see the worm? I did. I took one last glance <laughs> as I was leaving. I said goodbye to my doctor. Uh, I didn't mention it a second time to the doctor. I mentioned it once, maybe like once in conversation with the nurse, once in conversation with the doctor. The doctor didn't seem to care at all. And I'm like, it, all right, moving on. So, okay, if we're in, okay, say we have uh, a client meeting, We used to right? get worms here. Remember the little worms? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. They come in, like, usually when it rains hard, they'll come out of the soil. But if we had a client meeting and I'm sitting there and a client's on the couch and he's like, you got a worm crawling on your carpet. I'd be like, "Oh, I'd go get a piece, grab a little tissue, oh, yeah. tissue or a piece of computer paper. I'd shoot it, uh, shoot it on there, and then throw it out on the grass. I wouldn't just be like, oh, I'll smoosh it.' Yeah, yeah this or, is a weird. Or just like ignore that. It's supposed to be like continue. a sanitary place, and you're telling me to squish a worm. Yeah. Or like, also, I'm kind of embarrassed that there's a worm in my business. Like, right. that's, like if I was the doctor, I'd be like, "Oh, I'm sorry, there's oh a worm God, here. It's very unprofessional. I have my worm out. My pet worm. <laughs> it got out, Jim." There's, yeah, geez. Geez. <laughs> this is my business, and there's a worm. I'll I'll, uh, I'll sweep you that know up what? for you. Five percent off your epidural, <laughs> or call in the receptionist. I don't know who the doctor calls in. Uh, who's the lowest rung? Tamika, can you get in here? There's a <laughs> worm on the ground. Yeah, yeah. like it's the lowest rung, uh, like the on the hierarchy of a doctor's office. Who's the, the receptionist? Right? Uh they Probably. they had it would be male receptionist, and they do have one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are two, and you can tell the lady's in charge, and he's the do everything. Oh, yeah. And because the nurse, because or it perhaps goes, a custodian. Custodial worker or something? Yeah, I guess a, a big... Jerry, the worm is back a, in. A family practice probably doesn't have a, right. a janitor. They probably have one cleaning company. Yeah. It's like an obs- observation something. room, too, has a worm in it. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, all, people act weird. Yes, <laughs> I don't understand. I'm like, why are you behaving like this? <laughs> like, it's, why? It's weird. Well, I think that... Why'd every, you just okay, say squish it? Why are you doing nothing about it? Here's weird. Wh- here's why. <laughs> I, I think you're right, but I think the reason they were saying squish it is because it's such a strange place to have a worm. So even what to do with it, their idea of what to do with it is off. Like, they're like, uh, uh, squish it, because they don't know well, it shouldn't be there. <laughs> well... I mean, you know, and then you just leave the squished worm. Okay, hold, it's like a but, fish on the surface of the sun. It shouldn't be there. Just squish it. But okay, l- okay, let's do this, Matt. The, so that doctor has worms uh, in her office. One, well, oh. Through her college courses and whatever, like she has dissected things, right? Mm-hmm. All the way up to she's probably uh, done some sort of uh, human cadaver stuff uh, while she was, uh, you know, in medical school, right? right? They all do that stuff, right? So, she's it's not like she's squeamish over, you know... Well, it might be oh, different with oh, bugs and nobody humans. Nobody was afraid of the worm. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, Including like the, me. Like, I would, if she just said, like, so, can you please take that out? Take that with you, sir. <laughs> or if, if I was walking, she's like, sir, you left your worm. I'd be like, yes, I did. You know, like, I don't know. I would have done something. I just found it to be very strange that there was an earthworm in my observation room. But just the standard human go-to is to get a bunch of Kleenex into a little, right. like, a, a... I looked for Kleenex. They didn't have any out. pillow cloud like, for the worm. They did cloud. have cotton balls. They had the little yeah. cotton ball thing? I thought of well, getting two cotton balls and lifting them up. <laughs> well, they, they got a Kleenex in a doctor's <laughs> office, for sure. Um, they also I, have those, like, popsicle sticks. Yeah, yeah or toilet two paper. popsicle sticks. And then you, you make it into, uh, like, a loofah-type uh, big poof, and then you... <laughs> I didn't really want to touch it. As I you start, pick it up um, and then throw it in the toilet. I didn't want to move anything, toilet. though, for yeah, the yeah. idea that I'm sitting there, and then the doctor walks in, and she's like, um, Tamika, have you seen Room 1's uh, security worm? <laughs> or I don't know what is in there. <laughs> 
<laughs> where's the word? <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, where's my assistant? Can you ask for uh, like money off the visit because there's a worm in your in the office? I mean, I could have been. Oh, can yeah. you be like, I, I need ten percent off? <laughs> I could have been full Karen on him or on her, and been you know like, someone has yeah, and be like, oh worm, oh my. God. What kind of place are you running <laughs> yeah, here? I am out of here. You will hear from my attorney. But again, it's not a sign of cleanliness. messiness or cleanliness. No. Or like roaches are ants. It wasn't like a, it, okay. Let me uh, let, because I, I know what you guys are doing with your imaginations. Right, it's like now. a bird gets in your house. It's like yeah. it's a random like oh my a bird. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like it flew that. in here by accident, and it was clean too. It didn't have like little speckles of dirt on it. It wasn't sh- uh, slimy. It wasn't leaving a. Uh, it, from at least I did have my glasses on, but it didn't wasn't like leaving a trail. Mm. You know, it was just a worm sitting there, uh, moving yeah, yeah, yeah. like whacking no. its head and its tail back and forth, <laughs> kind of rolling back and forth. Kind of hard to miss because it's moving in your peripheral vision. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But fact, I'm seemingly the only person that saw it. <laughs> it's not tiny. No, it's um, big. Anyway, that's weird. There's that. Also, would you tell someone if they had a spider web in the corner of I told their, your wife this yesterday about your house. Your house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Outside, yeah, 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 get the spider webs. Although, uh, Burn does do a good job. They have that uh, long stick with the uh, feather in The end. purple thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just uh, get the <laughs> spider webs out Except the corner. Except you know, the baby spiders. Like, ah! <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I'm whacking them good. All right. Uh, let's take a break. When we come back, we'll do some voicemail email. We'll be right back. Welcome back to A Corporate Time. I figured out what happened. Okay, well, it's hold on. It's my assumption of what the reality is. Daniel's been telling me for years. Uh, <laughs> squid assuming. Wait, am I right? Squid well, assuming? No, he, uh, Dan- uh, no we're I, bringing squid in well, this I, well, Daniel, he tries to answer quick. He tries to predict, and which is not a bad thing. It's only a bad thing if you trust it all the time. It's kind of like a self-driving car. It's a great thing, but <laughs> you don't want to trust it all. Yeah, it There's will a bite. whole saying about assuming yeah, things. It'll bite yeah. you in the ass sometimes. But it, you know, if you think you know you have enough proof to prove something correct, <laughs> then I, who am I to talk you out of it? But when you do it all the time, you're like, yeah, I, yeah, know yeah, this, yeah. I know this, I know this, I know this, I know this. I'm five steps ahead of everyone at all times. <laughs> Stronger <laughs> than ever. My hands work better than they've ever worked. Where have you ever heard that before? <laughs> Not from me. So you figured yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah. It's they an assumption. Right. I tell you all the time. Right. I, brought, I don't even know what we're talking about. All right. Yeah, so yeah, please yeah. explain. No, no, no. We'll get to the fish sandwich. Oh, okay. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. it all has we'll to be. Like, I figured. I was like, I was sitting here. It's like, oh, because I just I'm assuming what's happening and what the reality is, and it's the completely wrong. So okay. then it leads me down like, okay, well, we'll get well, to this it. This is obviously what's happening, and then and then I'm standing there. We're waiting for minutes. our friend Mike Smith from the Current. Uh, we'll talk to yeah. him when he gets here. All bets are off. We're uh, gonna hit it. We're gonna hit it hard. Uh, Sanford Two is here. Uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Dustin Dom. Uh, uh, you know, apparently he's out of state. He is. Yeah, so, he still wanted to be here though. So he asked to call in. Yes. I, I made yeah. an I executive decision that that would be a, that that would be a yeah. terrible. Yeah. Dustin are gonna get in so much trouble when he gets back. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> oh yeah. Probably because well, I spoke for him. Like, ah, uh, you know, me and Dustin will just do it. No big fine. deal. Oh really? Oh, is that bad? All is it yeah. bad not having him here? Uh, he's coming out. Let's make some changes to the restaurant. Let's do some things. Oh, that's what we're doing. Let's put me and Dustin. Let's do really the, the, doing all the whole Wild Wild West End <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let's just mix it. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Get rid of the it. mural. Yeah, yeah, don't change it. I'm, okay, let's talk about the Wild By Wild West By the way, West don't end. change it because I really like that bar. We're so, not gonna. so uh So me and Daniel hung out there uh, uh, like right after we did our podcast. That's a hangout the, bar. I at like the that. the hurricane party and uh, the courtyard, the Wild Wild West End, uh, the inside of the bar is, is beautiful. You guys are having your uh, official grand opening. Um, uh, Coming up when now? Uh, July 23rd, we're doing it. All right. Uh, we're doing a livestock less rodeo. So, how? Ex- what is that? Uh, it's something we kind of made up. Can you like, explain? Like, <laughs> like, team I, well, I, I, like I know you made it up. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? I like how you That's were ready game. to move on. It's a fish. He's, he's like, we're doing a, a livestock. You know, and you're like, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, what is that? You're like, rattled. <laughs> Well, yes. because, uh, what uh, is this? Uh, we'll have like uh, we'll do uh, team roping. Uh, we've got barrel racing. Team and, roping. Yep, and barrel racing and a mechanical bull. And then we've got uh, bands coming out too. Yeah, we got Ben Prestige playing. Oh, yep. oh, oh, oh Prestige also, is great. <laughs> yeah, I also yeah. just friend booked, of the show uh, a drag show that's um, Dolly Parton and Reba McIntyre. Oh, so, country right. inspired yeah, drag show. That's, that's uh, dope. That's coming too. Oh man, Sam, we might have to hit that. I don't think it would be in town. When is it? When twenty third? Yeah, twenty third. Oh, the twenty third. 
I uh, like a mechanical bull. <laughs> I'm explaining how this, yeah. this I like, like a mechanical man. Yeah, yeah. Wait, have you we have a mechanical the drag man? show on top of the I think Mike Smith's outside. Oh, yeah. Is that him? Uh, yeah. 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 Let's get to the bottom of Yeah, let's get to the bottom of the Dude, fish. you are in so uh, much trouble, bro. Uh, you're, yeah. you're in a ton of trouble. Mike Smith, all the fish. Hey. What's up, buddy? So good to see you, man. What's all right. Up, putting, oh, your mic's on the ground. Oh, so You can take that yellow mic there. I'll turn you on. All right. There we go. All right. Hold that one down. Now it's awkward. <laughs> You're so, you know it's awkward. Well, You're in so I, much trouble. Well, I didn't think Mike Smith. Well, because we did. We talked about it in the OG yeah, recap yeah. Uh, this uh, two shows ago. Yeah. And it was. Well, after why is this? I still don't understand Carson why this Keg. is a bad thing. This is just something you. It just rattles you. No, no. It's well. It, it's not bad. It's it's awkward for me to talk about it because I'm sure Mike's like this is. But it's not like awkward. That you're, uh, it's not like awkward like somebody explaining their cancer to you. <laughs> you know, awkward. You're, you're it's right, more yeah. awkward like why is that awkward? Awkward. Well, I don't want to make Mike feel bad. But you're I'm not. Sure. I don't, I don't <laughs> think he does feel bad. I think he feels bad for you that you were too dumb to get a fish sandwich. I'm assuming. Right now, that he will not get mad. I'm assuming that well, I, I know it. I assume Mike's like uh, Tom Van works hard for uh, yeah, the, all he uh, wanted. <laughs> all he wanted was a fish yeah. sandwich. Like he's uh, he's a great MC for Carts and Cakes. Yes. He came he's there. The best. Some would say the best yeah, yeah, MC yeah, yeah. for Carts. He didn't and get anything wrong. He's professional. Yeah, never got drunk. <laughs> has never gotten drunk on any of the Mike Smith stages. Ever has never gotten yeah, drunk. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And then I didn't get him his fish sandwich that he wanted. So yeah. now I feel I'm t- speaking as a Mike. See, it ruined right? the Mike. event for Mike. Because <laughs> oh he couldn't get you a sandwich. All, he, all Mike wanted to do is get you a sandwich, and because he couldn't deliver that sandwich, ruined Ruin it. Ruined In fact, there's not going to be a part two ever, and it's never going to do it again. So, Mike, I'm kind of putting together what happened. And this is, I okay, it's my fault, because yes, I'm, it is. I'm an awkward person at heart. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with me. In your core. Yeah, yeah, something's wrong. Um, well, and, there's something wrong with all of us. So when we're walking over to The Current, which is a great seafood restaurant oh, in yeah. Henry's Depot, um, and See, I've Seafood's my favorite jam. Heard unbelievable things about The Current. Uh, a lot of uh, BDMs are like, oh, you have to go and eat there. Mm-hmm. And uh, so when Mike, uh, you know, is busy, it's a carts and kegs, he's running around, uh, you know, Mike's trying to organize everything. Yeah. He's got uh, kegs, he's got And he teams. had a shirt on that said, ask me about a fish sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Right? By the way... You, was it a button? It may have been a novelty button. I feel bad for Mike because he organized these grandiose events and all the contestants drunk. <laughs> you know, so mm-hmm. It makes them harder to... And they Half get the drunk. hosts. And they, and they all ask him the <laughs> same the question. Host. Where do we Sometimes line up? Sometimes both the hosts. <laughs> <laughs> Four times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Mike's running around. So uh, like half an hour before we are supposed to start, Mike's like, hey, you want some lunch? I got you, uh, you know, because, uh, you know... I have a Mike's fish sandwich in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Better since yesterday. You, you you wanted to eat at the current. I, I lunch is on me. I appreciate you guys coming. And then I was like, all right. And then he starts uh, going through what he has, and he's a like, black and mahi sandwich. I'm like, oh, that sounds good. Oh. So this is okay, Mike. So did th- you really I go wasn't home? Pushing. He's <laughs> not pushing. No, so this the is, mahi's turning. I need you to eat a mahi. <laughs> I, no, no, I, I'm eat a big more. Fan. Eat more. And eat I, it all. So th- from my perspective, I walked up with you, Mike, and then I stopped at the counter. And I also thought Sam and Trav were behind you, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got left in the dust. Yeah, well, <laughs> this guy wanted his fish. Yeah, 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 he yeah, was yeah. quick for the yeah, finish. Yeah, yeah. And He's uh, always been quick on well, the I finish. Well, I did scream, I'm the star, I get the free sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> in my head. <laughs> anyway, so I walk up, and then I'm standing there, and then you walk behind the counter, and you're talking. I made, I made the arrangements. Yeah, yeah, to do gentlemen, and I... To do, gen- <laughs> to do the gentleman's guarantee. <laughs> and I... This Wait till you hear their side, by the way. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, now oh I can God. never where's show my, my face. <laughs> where's, my, <laughs> where's my judge's robe? And so Tom goes back with a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, so uh, what I assume is you walk back there, you're like, hey, see this guy? Hey. He's Tom. He's the best talker big in the world. <laughs> this guy's a big shot. He's get him some fish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Grill him up. He's the host. He's the MC for Carts and Kegs. He does a radio yeah. uh, podcast thing, and uh, he's so, the best. So make and then I and I also assume uh, they. Are like, oh, you gotta make it good because maybe we'll talk about it, give us free okay. advertising. That's all okay. I mean, we have talked about it. <laughs> Let's a lot. pause for and a second. And you didn't even get the fish. Let's pause for a second. <laughs> they don't make sandwiches that are bad. No, I know, but they they're don't, extra good. They, no, but they don't look extra at you and go, good. oh, yeah. Sometimes that's... we don't make them at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't look no. at it and go, like, oh, that's the MC for carts and kegs. I better put an extra dollop of tartar on it. Like, it doesn't yeah. work like that. 
<laughs> it doesn't work like that, dude. Your brain is rotten. Your brain is mush. It doesn't work like that. Like they're giving me something no, special. Nothing like, special. Uh, they're they're <laughs> giving the best cut. They didn't even look at you. They didn't even look up. They just looked at Mike, and Mike's like, oh, I, well, what did you say? Because uh, you're here. What I did said, you say? I turned around. I said, hey. Tom, and then I motioned to you and Travis. Yeah, it for, wasn't there. It yeah. turns out you guys were going. You were yeah, yeah, yeah. They were yeah. afraid of this happens. I said, go buy your own fish. <laughs> so, yeah. in my, in my head, out of here. In my head, here's where, I'm, here's where I was at for about a week before I heard the BDM show uh-huh. on Monday morning. You listen to that? Oh, ruin my day. Yeah. Uh-huh. It, was the most awkward, it was the most awkward 47 minutes of uh, my business that I've ever That's heard in my life. Oh. You want the most awkward 47 minutes You might as well have lined up like all my exes in here and went over all their stories about me. Uh-huh. Uh, it would have been less awkward. Um, uh, so in my head, I walked you up. I thought Sam and Trevor were coming. Yeah, I am. I made the the, the you know uh, the arrangement with the guys, take care of them, and then I was done with that in my head. I closed that off. I yeah, ran like a normal time. person. Yeah, yeah. 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 Now, so you didn't say, "Hey, make him this specific fish sandwich." Why I did. I did, I did. I do believe I said, "Hey, I think he wants a black and fish sandwich." No, no, check, all with, right. check check <laughs> with him. On. Check with him now. Oh. Now on now this whole time now. They have a, a, a alternate universe story oh, wow, about some, a lot of about some weird this. guy in pink shorts just hovering, waiting for his friends. Pervert is a fish, a fish yeah. pervert standing there in his pink shorts with a boner, <laughs> <laughs> looking at the fish counter guys, licking his lips so like some you, sort of crazy person. What you missed when you went to the bathroom, Dan, is we found out that they did actually approach Tom and ask him. If he well, you needed left that anything. Hold on, you left that exactly. out. Exactly. And you had never said the gentleman approached you. And he said, according to Tom, Tom said he was just waiting for his fish. But what they heard was he, he's waiting for his friends. And that's what I got to. The fish are your friends? <laughs> <laughs> because yeah, yeah. he's got mumble mouth. He yeah. said, Rrr, And they thought he was saying <laughs> <friends. laughs> yeah, They might have said something like Tom and, and a couple other people were getting right. their lunch. And so they might have heard, they heard friends instead of fish. Yeah. I don't know exactly where that went wrong. Um. But, and so they're having the alternate universe going, why is this guy just standing right here? <laughs> they were, That's what they I were, kept saying. They were, I, I think they actually hid from me. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I can't make my fish sandwiches with this pervert staring at me. I was just staring at them, and then they were like, we're going to we'll stand behind the cooler. Yeah, I was long gone. I was, I was long gone. I was yeah, I know. Go behind the cooler, see if he still stands And there. then he was awkwardly staring at the uh, clipboard with papers, and I know he wasn't reading it. <laughs> that was obviously so I was like, that was go, ahead, let, go ahead and let me get that. <laughs> well, well, because I started looking at the like clipboard. Silas. He was having fish panic. <laughs> you I were like Silas Marner? Were you just standing there like you're sort of a trance? So then... I'm going to go back and pull the footage. I'm going to go pull the footage of that, too. That's <laughs> How long did he stand there? So, yeah, I don't know. Like an hour. Work. So then... When I'm going to pull that footage. When I left, I did. I hid eight in the corner because I was afraid Mike was going to walk eat? by. I had a, a sandwich from another place. Oh, and I, oh, I don't have a bag of chips. Now it's a sandwich. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh, I was starving. This is getting like, worse and worse yeah. for me. Yeah. But I only had half, and I pumped it in the trash because I thought you were coming. <laughs> and then I ran this up is the side. Yeah. And there's like, quick, somebody spray some fish in my mouth, so I smell like fish. He'll know. He'll know. He'll smell bleach on my breath. He had spinach all in his teeth. Because in my mind, you were going to be like, your fish sandwich is waiting for you. Like, why did you eat it? <laughs> and then, then you have to go eat it, too. You're full. <laughs> oh, would, then you're full and you're would, stuffing up your sandwich. I would have sat there, no matter what, and, and, and ate it just to make Mark happy. In my mind, even though he doesn't care. I was so uh, proud. I was so proud that I remembered to offer to buy you guys lunch. I was happy with that. I, I had closure with it. I moved on. Yeah. And for a full week, I thought I did that for you guys. Yeah. And then, oh. you know, Monday morning, <laughs> I'm having a beautiful nice. morning walking my dog. Listening to my favorite podcast. Oh, his favorite yeah. podcast. And uh, you know, and then and I find out the truth. And, uh, uh, attacking, my whole memory of the event yeah. is attacking spoiled. your business. Yeah. Why am I so awkward? It's uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be what kills me. I think I'm gonna defend. I'm gonna, de- I'm gonna defend you because I do. Like was, I do the same stuff. He was waiting at the bus stop. <laughs> I, I will him. say that this bus is built run on Sundays. <laughs> this, there's a layer. There's a layer of allure to this fish. Sh- fish. I can't even say it. Fish sandwich now. Oh. That is like. It's like now I gotta have one. I know. It's, That's the, what it's, the, it's the sandwich that. We got a couple I, in the trunk of the car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, what, we should do an event where we go to Henry's Depot, go to hey, the current, down. and all eat fish. Fish <laughs> meetup? <laughs> you know, we'll all sit there. Um, a fish meetup. All right. So um, let's uh, let's talk about Sanford and all the events coming up because there's a lot of them. Tons. Um, and uh, so, uh, Dustin, what do we got coming up? I know this Sunday, uh, Merchman Eric is going to be at, at the uh, food truck fiesta. Yep. Oh, my. Goodness, uh, the new ones that we do on uh, the Sundays now, one to six. Yep. 
Um, so that's happening this Sunday. And what do we got for the rest of July here coming up? Uh, the other big thing is just a grand opening of Wild Wild West. We uh, we try to you know avoid doing the midday uh, summer all day outside events you know yes, to a yeah, minimum yeah. so mm. because people just get real hot and sweaty. Um, uh, now back to that event. We were just nominated uh, Orlando at least, not Sanford. Orlando was nominated as of yesterday, or we won the prize of North America's sweatiest city. Yeah. Yeah, huh? is that a prize or <laughs> yeah? What do you I that? like sweaty. Do you mean I mean, like <laughs> I prefer to be sweaty. You know, like I like sweaty over cold. Cold oh, hurts. No. Yeah, yeah, cold hurts. Like my no. wife, like she put the air down too cold. I'm like, this is t- miserable. But sweaty, it's, yeah, it's fine. I'm sweaty. Whatever. I even tour during the winter. I'd, pff, yeah, no. Here, yeah. <laughs> so let's I'm with you. let's talk mechanical bull for a second because my favorite let's. thing about mechanical bull competitions is this is inevitably what happens. So uh, usually a shorter heavier lady <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, makes yeah. her way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was waiting for you guys now, to say that. Now, well, I can't because I'm shorter yeah. and heavier. And you uh, said heavier. I yeah, a, say, a woman with my body after. gets on the, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the mechanical board. And now the crowd is hyped up because they saw like five, uh, you know, maybe uh, you know, uh, fitter women get on there and yeah. sexy ride the bull, right? Where the where the the guy, I think he just puts it on demo, <laughs> yeah, 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 and yeah. it's barely moving, and yeah, the yeah. girl's like gyrating, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. you know, like and, slapping her ass, yeah, exactly, her whale tail thong out, exactly. You know? She's doing this whole thing. '90s dream. It's a '90s dream. Yeah, yeah, she's doing the move where she's riding the bull with her head down and ass up. Uh, yeah, and that's the way like, we <laughs> like to bull then, ride. You're like, well, that's not how you ride a bull. Yeah. <laughs> and then so you riding it backwards, so sitting on the Horn. So then uh, <laughs> the DJ's sister or whatever <laughs> gets yeah. up on there, like because she's drunk and she wants to party. Now and the he's crowd, like, no, do not get up there. The crowd is happy because yeah. they want something different. They also uh, are rooting for her yeah. because the and uh, they start it, chanting Biggie. Biggie. <laughs> Everybody knows that in like bikini competitions or any of the sort, of, like the crowd likes the uh, fish out of water. Fish out of water. Someone different. Than <laughs> 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 they like fish. Say fish sandwich one more time. And then uh, what happens is the operator, for whatever reason, becomes. More aggressive. Well, he gets horny. <laughs> like, I think he gets horny. Well, I don't know if it's that or he. He takes like, it out of demo mode. <laughs> he takes it out of demo <laughs> and, he, and he puts it on uh, Beals above. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He puts it yeah. on straight Satan's yeah. uh, Satan's yeah. girlfriend. And and partly because she's yelling at him to amp it up because she uh, is a bad bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a bad bitch. I'm a four wheeler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, I take so, my Bluetooth speaker into the woods with a Yeti cup. So the oh, operator okay. lo- like is looking around. He's uh, he amps it up, takes it. Yeah. Yeah. demo and puts it into like level three or whatever. And then it blows. <laughs> so what oh. happens is she gets up there and she tries to, because all she remembers is the sexy dance and so she starts doing the sexy dance yeah. but it's on full level three yeah. and then what happens is it rocks her, like it, the ass in put rocks her forward and then the head just comes immediately, <laughs> you know, <laughs> ramming her face uh, and then Hard. blows her hat off or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's it's gruesome, and she falls on the, uh, the, the blow inflatable up mat. blow up mat. Uh, she tries to laugh it off, yeah. but uh, she is hurt. But she can't. Roll. <laughs> she has to do that move where she can't stand up on the blow up mat, so she has to roll all the way to the edge. <laughs> to no, I, like, I have to do that too. It's yeah, like yeah. me on my sleep number bed. I have to roll yeah. to the edge, and then when I jump down, there's like a solid two feet before I hit the ground. It's yeah, scary yeah. getting out of bed. And you're making me feel great about getting this man. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. That's man. what we do. That's what we do. Every mechanical bull <laughs> operator out there that's listening to this knows what I'm talking yeah. about. They they know do how to know? blast a big girl. We know. A graphic of uh, <laughs> bull operators. You, you and I, might know, I know them. I think you and I might know more about mechanical bulls than most people. Like, did you know that there's a mechanical surfboard? Did you know there's yeah. a mechanical girl? There's a mechanical man, and you, there's no <laughs> horn. It's oh. just his ween, and you hold onto the ween. This is a true thing. We almost rented it. We almost rented it. You should rent it for Wild Wild Weston. It's a naked man with a banar, and you just hold onto that, and you ride around. It's it's crazy. Mike, um, let's talk Carson Two grand. Kegs for a second. Okay. Um, Two so grand for naked man. We got a couple man. minutes oh, left. So, okay. Well, uh, the event went awesome, and tell me if uh, you think this way. So the Tom and Dan team got into the finals in the final mm-hmm. race. 
And I was scared that they were going to win because I feel like the audience and everybody there, the participants, would think it's somehow rigged, rigged yeah. or that we somehow, like, uh, you know, influenced the win in some way, even though our team had a one flat tire. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Which just, is amazing. It, it was amazing. <laughs> that we got that far. The videos were fantastic from the yeah. event. They were great. Yeah, yeah. So how did it go? And were you afraid that the Tom and Dan team was going to win? Well, it, to, to further your point, you know, the, all those years I had that other business in town and some years you include me in the crowd favorite voting and some years you won't and, yeah. and I always tell you don't include me but you forget and you include me mm. and there's a couple what? years I there's a couple <laughs> years like, <"Wait>, <laughs> <man."> <laughs> based on this show it sounds as if you are my arch enemy you tell me something I forget yeah. Yeah. from the beginning of the show until now in this segment it sounds like you and Mike don't like each other very much uh, are you saying I'm not doing a good job hosting <laughs> there was, a, there was a, a, a part of, on Sunday where I'm like I think Tom's you know mad at me about something and I didn't know for another eight days what it was it turns out you're, you know, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, some years you include me and in, you're like, Mike, what do you think about the crowd favorite? And I will give you like this sign because like, do I like, can't vote on my team. My I'm team was Mike. always you know, yeah, 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 for the crowd favorite. And there was one year like I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll participate because I had a bunch of beers too that one year or most every year. But that <laughs> one year no, yeah. it was hotter that one year. The one year. <laughs> it is, you, get, you end up uh, the hotter it is, the drunker. Oh, it is, that was bad. That was like, bad. In the cool years of Sofa yeah. Suds, like uh, I think the second year of Sofa Suds hosting it, I puked in Andrew's. Car <laughs> in the back of it, oh, yeah, on, a, yeah, yeah. on a uh, on one of those WeatherTech mats. Nice. Those things work. Yeah. Yeah. If you have a car, get the WeatherTech oh, yeah. mats. You can barf right in it, and it'll hold the barf until you get home. Mine looks like a waffle iron on the. On the <laughs> yeah. It all sits in a little like an ice cube tray. Yeah. Exactly. So um, we'll end with the uh, Dom. So uh, Dom, I haven't <laughs> barfed in my car. In years. You haven't barfed in your car in years. Oh, I haven't barfed in years. Oh, man, you're, 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 you're not drinking, right. drinking. So I just. Oh, really? I, I just don't barf anymore. I guess. Yeah, bar- drinking will make you barf. <laughs> Way too high to barf at, yeah. at most points in my day. Yeah. Any uh, any bands coming to West End? <clears throat> that this we weekend, about? excuse me. This weekend we have uh, the Blue Streak Mamas and a whole a very list good. of bands that um, on Friday, on Saturday we got Angelica Fumero, um, Every Which Way, I guess uh, the band's called. Um, Drew Yardis with them. Um, we've got a pop punk emo night coming up on July sixteenth. Nice. We got. I mean, just come to uh, westinvenue.com and come look at all of the uh, different shows we got. We got a whole ton of stuff coming. I love it. We got Ben Prestage coming for the um, for the rodeo. Wild Wild West. Is he going to uh, be on the outdoor stage? Yeah, we're doing yeah, a we're full doing outdoor, outdoor stage. stage um, in Is this the, the first time yeah. you've had someone perform there? Uh, I think we, so. Since I mean, outside, at, yeah. Uh, hurricane party we had. We had yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Right. I think you mean since Hurricane. But since, uh, yeah. since the bar itself has been open, uh, no, this will be our first... Our first episode of Oh, that's going to be good. Him out on the outdoor stage? Yeah. So that's going to be nice. Yeah. He's, he's awesome, too. Yeah, very, very good. new venue at the West End, the, the way you guys redid that venue. And so, phenomenal. yeah, this weekend we had Super Villains there. Great band. Drummer. I've heard of those awesome. guys. Awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he he's smells handsome. very nice. He is very handsome. He smells like a good pair of shoes on. He definitely smells like weed. Yeah. Uh, we, we had our grand opening the, for the venue this weekend. Um, if you're unaware, we basically uh, did a bunch of... Uh, Work in the venue. We got a brand new stage, brand new uh, sound system. Oh no! The the room That's itself awesome. is a little bit bigger, so it's we have some bigger yeah. stages. We, yeah, we blew out the the, the back bar there. wall, so the back bar over there now is completely part of the venue if we want it to be. Oh, nice! And we uh, and we've uh, uh, put the speakers in such a way that even in the back of the room, it sounds great in there. So um, yeah, come out and. Uh, Check out a show out there. God, I'm really stoned. I'm sorry. That's fine. Right. No, no, we know. Yeah, they're That's making right. fun of me on there. Like Dom looks so stoned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't Dom. read the chat. Yeah. Never read the well, chat. They're not wrong. You should hear what they say about me, Dom. Yeah. Oh no, uh, no, no. I don't no. turn my computer on anymore. I keep. Look, they're, for some reason, they're down on you. <laughs> they don't know why I'm with her. Yeah, yeah, they're down on everybody. Oh, like, hey, no, no, cool dick. Keep talking about the fish sandwich. <laughs> Poor Dom sitting there looking like he's sad. Oh, yeah, they want the sandwich. They love the fish. Oh no, I'm going. I'm definitely going over to the depot. To get me a sandwich. Yeah. That's for sure. Uh, so yeah, yeah. It works. and we'll end with the current. Uh, check out uh, the current at Henry's Depot. Aww. Get that fish sandwich uh, <laughs> that I never got. Uh, no. Tell me how it is. <laughs> tell me <laughs> how it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A hashtag fish sandwich. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, use yeah, it. yeah. yeah. Um, guys, thanks so much for coming by. We appreciate thanks, it. Guys. Thank yeah. you. Um, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Welcome back to a corporate time. So okay, who are the people? That in your neighborhood now that uh, think to themselves like, hey, I heard these people talking about this person. I heard Tom talking about the fish sandwich, <laughs> and then and then they run to Mike Smith and say, hey, Mike, <laughs> and then they're like, did why you would- hear Tom and Dan? 
because, talking about your fish sandwich? Is that what you're talking about? So what is it? It maybe it's because they just it's, assume it's they a heard. drama potter. It's a drama potter. You're is doing it drama potter? Yeah, they're going to the source, right? They're going to him and saying, "Hey, did you hear this? What are you going to do? You going to retaliate?" When it's really a nothing burger. There's nothing here. But I want to. We I, love that guy. We love his products. We've well, always been a, a friend of his, and we love him. So what's the problem? There's I'll no problem. I'll ask you this though: If someone tells you. That someone's talking trash about you on a show. Do you care? I, bet. Do I you go listen? and look. I go and listen I do to too. it. Yeah, I go and I listen to know. it, and then I'll deem whether or not I need to retaliate. <laughs> if someone's like, "Hey, this podcast is talking about you," I would be like, "Oh, okay, uh, I'll give you one. I'll give you. Oh, one. I'll, I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you a no, real no, world no, example. I'll give you a real world example. Somebody tweeted our friend and friend of the show Tuttle and said, "Hey, buddy, did you hear?" Mike Calta and Shannon Burke said you look like the firework oh, shooter guy. Oh, you told me this morning, yeah. And then oh. he's, and he he's going crazy. losing <laughs> it. Like, like, well, I, you know what? I don't want to... <laughs> that calm. you look like him? He's, no, no, that no, Tuttle that, looks like oh, okay. him. He's calm, Did but he's mad. Say, he's like, F you, and he's a retaliate. He's like, you can S this and S that and blah, blah, blah. Then take the, one of those with you and, and do that and I'll do this and do that. Did both of them say it independently? Yeah, independently. Or did they hear each other say it? Independently. And, okay, it was just like they both had the independent thought of that. Weird. He must look like him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he doesn't <laughs> not. Yeah. Uh, Accident. Oh, I didn't get my... <laughs> Accidental D head. He doesn't mean to hurt you. But feelings. so oh, this, that's a perfect example. So then does... So Total didn't hear that. No. Someone, someone went they, to him the, and told him. The Twitter came to him that? and said, hey, did you... Well, did, Twitter, I'm giving Twitter, you a good example. Yeah. So Twitter comes to him and says, hey, did you hear who blah, blah, blah is saying about you? And then But Twitter loves stirring the ass. Well, I'm... I think that we are nothing more than a mirror of our digital communication. You think if it wasn't for social media, someone would have told Tuttle in person? No. You don't say those things in person. Some people do. But you do more now because social media, we spend so much time on social media and in this digital world that a lot of what we do in the digital world is now stemming and coming over into the forefront. So you're seeing more people act out. You're seeing more people in fights. More people fight online, right? That stuff's just backwards compatibility. It's retrofitting itself backwards into our lives. So we're spending all this time in the metaverse, in this digital world, and that, those allowances, those filters that we have, or yeah. lack thereof, they, we're looking at real world with the same filter. Hence more fights. Hence more stuff. You know what I mean? That's what, that, at least that's my theory. There's my theory. Is it the... Okay. Yeah. To me, though, I, because I want to give people the benefit of the doubt, and I don't want to think they're malicious or they just want to start drama. Even, I think some people think it's just funny. Uh, funny. Some people do it for the drama or to troll, but I think some people think it's just funny. And they probably this ass- was pretty innocent. And I think the they, fish sandwich. They assume because there's a psychology of if you listen to some show and you really like it, you just assume that everybody yeah. likes it, or, yeah. or if they're to. associated with the show. Since we did the exactly together, yeah, yeah. yeah, like everybody who's on the show listens to the show all the time yeah. and well, we get the them case. all in a room yeah. like all right here we go we're hey, gonna all listen, listen. <laughs> and i'm pressing play yeah. i mean like a lot of our sponsors like business owner sponsors they don't have time they can't they don't have time to listen to any podcast you know what i'm saying they got a family they got a business they're not listening to anything no. you know what i'm saying so it's like they can't uh, possibly listen to all the shows that we put out i mean jonathan from organic uh, he's too busy to i don't even oh. think he's oh, ever he listened he? to us one time <laughs> no he, he it, farms in silence yeah that guy <laughs> He's too busy. He just got a smartphone. Yeah, he can <laughs> barely take phone calls on it because he's so busy. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and it, it, it's funny, too, because I think, and Daniel, tell me, uh, speaking of listening, like... One- well, I'm just going to repeat whatever you feel. That's, <laughs> I mean, that's kind of my role on the show. I mean, you already know what I'm going to say. Earlier on in, uh, in like, my career, uh, and then in, like, radio, mm-hmm. I, I assumed that... Like once it was out there, that everybody knew about it or heard it or whatever. Yeah. And through years, I've told myself like, oh, they, you know, they this, didn't hear. It. No this, one listens. This blows your, I know this blows then, your mind, but there are people that listen to you currently that don't know you were Drunky the Bear. There are people that listen to us oh, currently that saw didn't some Drunky know, the Bear jerseys yeah. at the Predators game last week. Oh, there were people that listened to the show. When that, you text me that, I'm like, oh, Sam's getting me. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Oh. It was a nice way of getting him. Yeah. It was like hey, super. Hey, they're still repping you out there. It was like positive. Passive. Yeah. 
So um, n- there are still people that don't believe I was bu- did the buddy calls in the monster. There are people yeah, that yeah. listen to me now that people and, and I'm not gonna yeah. I'm not gonna make the mistake of calling them stupid people. They're not. It's just we all pick and choose Brains the amount of information. You, yeah, we only yeah. have so many decisions we can make throughout the day. Yeah, and it's 20 years ago, so we forget how long ago yeah. it actually was. Uh, speaking of the old uh, D Bear jerseys at the Preds game, mm-hmm. does that make you uh, mad? They were like no. second row. It should make I you. I immediately make thought you happy. I wanted no. <laughs> this is what I mean. I immediately thought to myself, I got to bring my sons there so they could mm-hmm. see it. They see their old man. Tim oh, said that he's offered to bring you into the end zone. No, I know. He says you yeah, never respond. A, yeah, you know, well, because I, if I go to some VIP thing, then uh, then they're, uh, it's like Justin Bieber, uh, the Predators. They all come around, and they're hounding me. They're You're the Justin wow. Bieber of the <laughs> First, he's King Tut. Now he's Justin Hold Bieber second, of the, the Predators? That's the most insulting thing you've ever said about Those yourself. Those don't even go together. I know. It's the most insulting thing you could ever say about yourself. He said, I'm the Justin Bieber of the Predators. I Okay, fine. <laughs> you are. I don't want to be that. That's horrible. I don't want to effing be that. Anyway, I want to bring my sons there so they can see the D Bear jerseys. <laughs> which, by the way, but they, God, do, they they know, have a, do they know that you played a character called Drunky the Bear? Yeah, like do if, they even know? No, that? I, oh yeah. If I, I ask Tommy, <laughs> do they know what Drunky is? If I ask Tommy Van, if I go, hey buddy, like, do you uh, your dad used to wear a costume? What was it, and what was his name? Would he be like? I don't know. Well, let's call him and find out. Call my wife, and we'll put him on. My the, wife. All right. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is this could either we'll go. My this son, is either going to make I, you feel great <laughs> or horrible. Um. Okay. So we'll get Tommy on the line, and then you ask him uh, about my past and see how much he knew. because I've told him multiple times at dinner. <laughs> yeah, but he's not known for his retention gra- levels. Right? Right? Like, like, <laughs> how good son. is he at retaining information? <laughs> he's my son. Yeah, he, and uh, you said he has no feelings like you. He said he could sit in silence for hours. <laughs> yeah, 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 this yeah. record, like four and a half hours, he sat in silence one time. I've told him. I've shown him uh, jump a grave digger multiple times to the point where they're <laughs> tired of seeing it. Uh, one but time, do they, they know were, you worked for the radio station? They have a loose concept. Of, they were more impressed about YouTube than I me mean, on YouTube. Like so, it's amazing. So it's yeah. amazing so, when she, she sees me on Twitch. She's like, "You do Twitch." She knows what Twitch is. She has no concept of podcasting. Yeah, yeah. she straight forwarded me, bro. Oh <laughs> yeah, Tommy forwarded you. He ain't got time for this. He's playing Roblox. Does Tommy have his own number. I can call. He has his own phone. <laughs> so does me. He does. But it's like an old phone. I could text them. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you might as well. They text now. I texted uh, Maisie one time. She just wrote back, "Pee pee poo poo." <laughs> <laughs> That's all they write back. Anyway, uh, now I want to bring my son so I could show them, like, hey, they're wearing It was daddy. fun. Sam said they're it was fun as an experience, but she said the football, eh. I mean. Well, well it's never been about the football. Right. <laughs> like, hey, that's, I, you know, when I was It playing. was fast. Like, when it, like, in its heyday, it was really fun. It yeah, was yeah. really fast football, really fun. Who owns it now? Does uh, old David Siegel still own it? Uh, I don't know. There were tons of families there, though. Yeah, yeah. Kids seem to really love it. Well, I'm sure it's like... Uh, How many teams? Aren't there like three or- teams in the league now? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it I, always makes me I, upset. Nate Starling owns I, I, them. No, new new owner. Weird. <laughs> like the star, the, is it they Sterling or order? Starling? Starling. Starling. Yeah, yeah. Because what's, they, his, what's his deal? I don't know. Let's see. Everybody likes it, man. Football. That's why these teams. That's why the USL uh, is is going on right now, and then it keeps folding, and then it keeps going, coming back. Well, people I mean, still watch it. Only, well, I not, watched it. Not dude, so good. Not that so good. Has nothing to do with what the people want. It's w- people want to own a football team, and there always will be a business owner that has enough money uh, to uh, risk wasting it just so they could say they are owner of a football How, team. Uh, I, that's why I think that. Yeah. Yeah, he says he's always been an arena football fan and a devoted Orlando Predators fan. Yep, there he and now he's got some extra cash, so it's a nostalgia he's, buy. He he got a couple clients in his landscaping business, some mega clients. And you like some? I, ma- po- I made it on the <clears throat> jumbotron twice. Oh yeah, well, yeah, yeah, I think I know one. <clears throat> Jumbo. (laughs) (laughs) Don't go. (laughs) (laughs) Now I'm doing it. I'm just. uh, (laughs) See, Daniel's thinking what happened. I am thinking it. I mean, it's the only Tron that can be you. (laughs) You're gonna put those things on a mini Tron. (laughs) How's that gonna? How's that gonna work out for you? Hit the old man button. (laughs) That was a dad joke. It was a dad joke. Who won? (laughs) Not the Predators. (laughs) If she was on the Jumbo Tron, everybody. And it was their last home game of the season. That was a trick question. No one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. What was the score? 
I don't even remember. I remember you'd get some ridiculous score. Yeah, you'd be yeah, like, 75 yeah. to 7. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh it was goodness. a lot. Um, they, Do they still play Welcome to the Jungle? Yeah. Oh, I asked they had them. a dad band that they played during a. Oh, they love. Oh, they're doing the, the bad intermission. They, they do the had, band thing. They still. had mini pyro, and one of their things caught on fire, and they couldn't get it. And it was it's great because it's chaos. <laughs> oh man, it's oh. fun because it's chaos. Mini I wonder, pyro. I wonder if they still. It was thirty-seven f- to thirty-four. Jacksonville beat us. The um, Sharks is yeah. that still owned by a Bushy, or, did he, <laughs> yeah. or were they all banned? Yeah, is that Steve Bushy? No, yeah, I which Bushy was there. that? I, Barry Bushy. I think they forced him out after the. Yeah, uh, your bro- brother stinks. You stink too. Get out of here, <laughs> Steve Caron. Oh, Steve, uh, old Steve Caron. Um, so I can't believe they still play "Welcome to the Jungle." <laughs> Some things never die. <laughs> you would think, like after the fifth owner. They well, nobody say, knows the movie Predator anymore, so it doesn't make even your mascot doesn't make any sense until the new Predator <laughs> comes out. Like no, no kid looks at your mascot. They're like, yeah, their mascot looks like a vagina with teeth, because that's what a Predator looks like, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The actual Predator from the movie, Predator, right? With yeah. the dreads. Like if you show that yeah. to a kid, you're like, what's that? They're like, I don't know. It looks like something from Fortnite. They don't know Predator. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's zombie dreads. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, but uh, you should get back into the halftime game. It was oh, way better on. than that. For the love of God, you know, do you know how long? Well, what they have for halftime? It was the dad band. I just said. Oh, they just had a Thanks normal dad band. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. I thought because they used to have a dad band before the they game might. Started. I didn't make it in before. I got. I got in a little late. It's but, nice uh, to they know, definitely played the halftime. It's nice to know that they're uh, the quality of all of your halftime shows equals <laughs> one dad band. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm sure there's some old school fans that are like, I miss drunk. Yeah, halftime. I remember the exciting halftime. I bet someone's not tweeting dad about band it. garbage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I remember when uh, no one tweeted about it. <laughs> so not was, one person. I, there's got to be one tweet where you know they miss my halftime show. I'm going to take a page from your book, and I'm going to assume so, that not one person from the act <laughs> sitting in the stands knows how to tweet. Too old. Everybody there was old. Someone, I, no. Someone that night said, "I remember." Like they're telling their son that they brought for the first time. I like, remember I, one time they had a greyhound on there, and he let loose with spray diarrhea all over the fifty-yard line. They're like, "I remember in the halftime shows uh, when Drunky the Bear." He's they're yeah, telling the their son, "Birth of Stormtrooper out there." Yeah. <laughs> Somebody stole his monster dog tag, and like, Barry Wagner's got a pie. <laughs> in the face, but it was made of butter. Nobody cares, dude. Nobody. There's days are gone. So someone cares. No. Someone in that arena. Is Tim. Sad. Only Tim. <laughs> Someone is sad. And Nick. They don't have. What, I wonder why there's no young, hungry the intern reason out no there, one, radio intern that could do some halftime. The reason no one cares is because those games are embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, That's but why. there's got to be some young, hungry intern out there that wants to get make a name for himself. They're all at the minor league baseball <laughs> games. <laughs> are they? They're doing stuff there. Yeah. Because they're the cool, wacky thing to do now. Oh, the they, minor league. That's kind of true. Like, what you were doing was a little ahead of its time. Like, the Savannah Bananas are basically doing, they're taking yeah. your playbook <laughs> and doing all the Drunk of the Bears stuff, all the crazy <laughs> fish out of water. Oh, look, Tim Tebow. Oh, look, they're dancing. Oh, look, they're line dancing. Oh, look, a baby pool filled oh, with oh, confetti. Are they, oh, they got it for me? Are you saying, like, I Maybe mean, I revolutionized the halftime show of uh, minor you, league sports. I, I won't say that they're stealing it from you, but I will say you were ahead of your time. Mm. Certainly. The inspirations. Well, I'm you sorry. were doing funny halftime shows before people started doing funny halftime shows. Let's be honest. You can't do the death-defying de- halftime show anymore, right? That's not even a thing anymore because if people are too litigious and people get hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't well, do that. I'm surprised they let it happen back then. <laughs> they were like, what are you doing? I uh, my favorite one was in uh, Jay Gruden, who eventually was an NFL coach, coach, and then was fired for smoking a <laughs> joint outside an Applebee's with a girl sitting on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> it was something like that. I saw the videos, like him and a girl sitting on the uh, ground. They're just like sharing a joint. I knew when I caught that football off the top of the ladder uh, from him that uh, he'd be smoking a joint at Applebee's. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this, this is inevitable. <laughs> you saw it in a vision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as you fingers touch the football was like, <laughs> like yeah, yeah. one day you will smoke a joint outside at Applebee's with a woman <laughs> you're sitting on the ground <laughs> like a bum <laughs> <laughs> then they will use the footage uh, to, against you later to make you appear to be a negative <laughs> 
They will use it against <laughs> yeah. you. That organization is horrible. I feel bad for him. He, like, uh, I feel really bad for him. Because he got his shot as an NFL coach. Because he did great with Cincinnati. He and did then he gr- got, and really then great with Cincinnati. Washington well, dude, he's a great, is horrible. He's a great football player and a great coach. He knows the game. Yeah, but the, the, the whole organization that he got wrapped up in has, has tainted him. It's a horrible organization. Like, the owner. Yeah. Like, they're trying to boot him out of the NFL. And, like, the, 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 the he, you know, he probably... Uh, if we interview, there are Dan, good I'd people that work him. for the the Washington Cause, Commanders. Cause, there were good people that work for. Because think about if he would have just stayed with Cincinnati as uh, their. Who knows if he would have gotten another coach. shot, dude? He could have been in the Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? They get Joe Burrow and like you know. I mean, oh, you're saying that they eventually would have made him head coach. No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying maybe he didn't take a head coach job. Some coaches in the NFL have turned down head coaching oh, jobs yeah. to stay. I think, it happens all the time. You know, because they 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 would rather win a championship with the organization. Or maybe they're, they're just or, more comfortable in the role that they have. Yeah, yeah. Or they, the longevity is there. Because the problem is with being an NFL head coach is like you, you take your shot – but the, you end up in a bad organization and a bad year and whatever it is, yeah. and then then now you're not a coach and you're not even an offensive head coach. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Because right. that because that's uh, stinks too. I, mean, I guess the Gruden name of the whole thing got uh, uh, you screwed him over too. Um, you could change your name. Oh yeah. And now now I, people would be like, "That's <laughs> I know who you are." <laughs> I mean, it's not a, you can't hide. No, Gruden's here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, man, I love to interview Jay Gruden. I, he probably would never do it. Uh, no, uh, but uh, yeah, <laughs> put it out there. You never know. Let's get him in here. Get him a fish sandwich. Let's roll. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. Hey, yeah. Kyle, um, can you teach me how to be more classy? Um, well, <laughs> that was a left turn. <laughs> As you're talking, you were just staring you, you at him. You were just staring, staring at his, at his like, pocket square. square. Classy. You were staring at his pocket square, the way he ca- ca- carries himself. Yeah. And often I, you know, I find look myself. At the po- look at the posture of his body yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. I look, look at how myself. awkward you look. I, yeah, exactly. I look at myself. I'm like, God damn, I'm white trash. You know, I'm, you like this. I'm like, the things I'm doing are yeah. trash. <laughs> and I'm like, how can you I change? I want to be fancy. You look like any. Florida man waiting at a pain management clinic. That's, <laughs> no, what, you like. uh, That's <laughs> what you look like. You have to go to like one of those Advent yeah. Health ones. Those are the ones you see. Those types. Yeah, 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 you look yeah. like the guy. In yeah, I feel like the guy. You know what you look like? A guy at a pain management cl- clinic yeah. that can't wait in the waiting room because he's so addicted to cigarettes. He has to say, "Hey, I'll be in my truck out here smoking. Can and, you come and get me?" But what? I, but, I see. yes, but, they Kyle. can't even wait in there because they need a cigarette oh, so bad. They're like, "Can you go?" Oh, man. But Kyle, I want to be fancy. I don't start with the hair. I don't want to be trash. Because I'm mad. I, I, I go don't wa- want to be trash, Daddy. I, I, sometimes <laughs> I have, kind of legal. I'm forced to go to Walmart. Uh, like, oh, I love you know, Walmart. And, of course. And, and it's a discount then, rack. Well, I love Walmart. You can always find good stuff. And, and yeah, I'm, I'm always I'm in Walmart. I'm in Walmart. I'm like, God damn, this place Let stinks. Me take you to like, Walmart. I'm like, in every, uh, I don't want to be around these people. Uh, and like, uh, you, know, you are those people. I, I know. <laughs> because I'm like, I'm here. I, I want to get I want to be in an art exhibit, uh, dressed well, in a suit. You look pretty good, Tommy. You look like you clean up pretty nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, you have yeah. all your teeth. Your but, hair's combed. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, you got a job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? But the thing is, when I put on a suit, it, he's it, in yeah. flip flops. Style. They, like yeah. Kyle, when and his feet. I'm like, what? This guy's dressed in a Halloween and... costume. <laughs> like that's what it looks like. You do. For, like I look. Uh, You're like, like, hey, where's your shears, Edward Scissorhands? <laughs> 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 I don't. I look like a double lock. It's more than that. I feel like Kyle puts off. He's got the pocket uh, square, uh, the yeah. matching polo. He's got the good shoes with the matching socks. He's got his glasses in a case. He's got. Yeah, well, a I'm messenger also, bag. I got a few things to do after this too. I but look at he's look. <laughs> I, I have to be kind of you know presentable. Yeah, he look. Yeah, but yeah. he's done. Like, look at me. I'm wearing. Uh, I'm wearing uh, joggers. I'm wearing a free t shirt <laughs> and a free baseball hat. And it, and it has nothing to do with. I money. don't have an underwear either because I, you, I don't have an underwear. You can give me millions of dollars. Neither I'll still I. be white <laughs> trash. <laughs> like I'll, I'll be. I'll be a white trash millionaire. And then I see people. I'm like, <laughs> no, like wait, hold Rock. on. You can't be saying white trash millionaire because that's the name of a Kid Rock album. Well, that's. I'm saying, and then it's like, well, this guy's trash, and he's a uh, rich and famous. You're and trash Orlando's trash. Kid Rock. <laughs> oh wow! And yeah. then I'm like, wow. is it just ingrained and you can't get it out? Like, you uh, know what? I can't get the you, trash out. You sir, you, you're, you're Skid Rock. You're slightly <laughs> less trashy than you used to be. That, but that money did that. Did you ever have, have a mullet? Uh, no. no, but he had a he stoop. Had a, I was from. I was from. <laughs> I would yeah. have a mullet. He had a haircut. He had a muffalata. He had a muffalata. His hair. <laughs> was, it looked like Lego hair. When, like a, oh, like wow. You could pop it. Uh, when you're white trash and from Miami, you get a fade. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 why, what do you want? You want a two on it? You want a two on the sides? Yeah, yeah. I want a two on the sides. Anyway, uh, I feel like. Uh, you also have to wear just, closed toe shoes. 
Pants yeah, help. Pants yeah, help. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can start with I socks. Mean, it's hot being classy. <laughs> yeah. you write that down. <laughs> write down it's hot. You know, hot and outside, he's got a blazer on. I know, yeah. but that's well, why I, I, I can't I, even I walk. I had it off in the car. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Do you hang yeah. it? No, I hang it on my back seat. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, actually, I wanna... when, I, when I got out of my car, I, I closed the door. I go, God, my car is like... Like a homeless person lives in it right now. Oh really? Oh, so much stuff in well, it. Well, you're a detective. That's, that's he's an art detective. He's, <laughs> so, to, you know, he's I got a hot tip ho- over here. Somebody's got some fake baskets. So he looks put together, but his car is trashy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. my, my office is definitely all cluttered. of Tom's trashy. Yeah. Oh yeah, my the office is, is a mess. Oh, my, your, your truck is got. I got a new truck. Fish and banana peels in it. It stinks inside. There's sushi wrapper. Yeah, yeah, I know. You know what? You know what? Last night when I was thinking, what am I going to wear tomorrow? I watched a Twilight Zone episode. Rod Serling, baby. He looked good. Rod Serling, Miles Davis, Robert yeah. Palmer, always good choices. What should I wear? You know, you wear a suit. Yeah, or, yeah. We have whatever Palmer or. You know what? Miles how? I do, when do you dress like we dress? When do you wear shorts and yeah, a t-shirt? Yeah. <laughs> When's the last time you wore a, a t-shirt? You know, you should see me when I go swimming because I usually go shopping afterwards we in, s- in wet trunks. Oh, I don't have my towel around. My ticket. I don't walk. Are in the you store a with stay in your trunk? No, that's weird. That's I'm insane. I stay in my trunk. Oh, you go <laughs> swimming and then you put a towel around yourself. Still wet and, and you go, go to Millennium Mall. Yeah. 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 Millennium. My hair is all spazzed well, out. Insane. From being wet. Well, hold on. He's had his fool. Well, that. Oh yeah. Get cat food. Yeah, he's at Target. Cat. No shirt on. Yeah, you get well, I got, I got an Italian horn. I've got long and one basketball trunks. If you're wearing the Italian horn, that is considered a shirt. Yeah, he's. Ripping all the way through Publix. Yeah. You know yeah. what? I, be, I I think being uh, classy is in internal, and I'll explain. Is because I gravitate towards trashy things. Like my first, you're trashy. I'm classy. My first go to is trash usually, and like I like if you you're like, what do you want? I'm like baloney. <laughs> <That's what> I'm <laughs> saying like, for anything. What am I? <laughs> what am I? <laughs> I'm just saying like, yeah, you want this baloney cheese? Yes, I know. I'm like, oh, delicious. But like I feel like so. Style. Like, I walked in here and, and I knew you caviar. were. Caviar. It's I, in your DNA. If I knew you were thirsty, you're saying that you'd be like, "Who's got a Capri Sun?" <laughs> okay. Every time I'm put into a rich scenario, <laughs> you want you, you want you have imposter syndrome. <laughs> well, no, I, because I've got okay. I went, what do you mean a rich scenario? Yeah, what okay. is your rich scenario include? I, I went to a wedding as one this time. show continues. The biggest thing our <laughs> listeners are going to figure out is that I was not crazy the entire time. <laughs> All like. For the last 10 years, I have been gaslit to yeah. think that I'm nuts. Meanwhile, across the table from me is the craziest human in the world. Continue. When I, I went to a wedding one time, and it was at, um, what's that fancy ass? Monkey Joe's. Uh, no, <laughs> I know what you're talking about, that Tampa in Hotel. My, no, and it, and it was in Miami. It's oh, um, uh, old uh, f- the old hotel. The Art Deco one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, like, the, uh, the Casa de whatever the F. The, the chat room will know. Um, but uh, it's a super fancy hotel in Miami. Um, the fancy ass wedding. You know, that kind of thing. Is that the one where you went to the brunch? The expensive ass brunch? So I go to the brunch and uh, I'm sitting there trying to be fancy. And, uh, and Ooh, a little brunch. They have crab legs. I'm at, around a bunch of rich people and then they told me it was $110 a person. And it almost blew my GD. He's uh, sandals off. He texted me from the brunch. He was so incensed. Yeah, I, I was just like, oh! You know, I was like, I wasn't prepared to spend two twenty and a tip. It's yeah. like, you know, he starts stuffing his pockets with crab legs. Sure, why not? Three <laughs> yeah, He's just trying not? to get his money's worth. So, He's stuffing his socks, his shoes. So, so then, once I'm already pot committed, Kyle, then I'm like, what? Well, this is a, a insane brunch that they're putting on. It's like, I guess, renowned in Miami. You go to uh, yeah. Biltmore, the Biltmore brunch, uh, and so then. And I'm saying, and they got a seafood. Oh yeah, it's an that's where the one ten came from. Yeah, right well, there. The, yeah, the caviar, yeah. crab legs, like uh, this. They got it all. The, and and yeah. all Lobster I can stare tail, at is scallops, a, bacon wrapped scallops. Is the sausage and scrambled eggs? <laughs> <laughs> because like, that's all I want. Yeah. I, can, I am trash. Y'all want. got any of those mini boxes of cereal? <laughs> all I wanted to do <laughs> was cereal, eat sir. As many <laughs> sausage <laughs> links. My dad used to call it cereal. Fruit loops, <laughs> sausage yeah. links, and uh, cheesy eggs. And I, I had the guy. What are you, a baby? I was gagging down caviar. I was like, this is disgusting. <laughs> what? But, oh, but only because yeah. I had to get the $110 yeah, worth he out of it. He, he, he was, it, was if it was up to me, me, me as a sausage. I'm like on my fourth trip. <laughs> you were eating shellfish with, with an allergy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <insane> <laughs> get your money's worth. Because I'm gravitated towards trash. <laughs> I just yeah. want to 
on sausage. Then just eat the trash. Yeah, yeah, Well, that's what I mean. I'm not meant to be fancy. Well, you're never going to be like Kyle. Yeah, yeah. Here, that's here's, what I mean. Here's a question I can't for you. learn. If given the chance, pee outside, pee inside. Especially at night on a cool night. Well, okay. Oh, he's a pee out. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, hold yeah, on yeah, a second. Yeah. I don't. You know what? I may not know this one. I was going to say you pee outside. Yeah, uh, yeah. But you're also very weird about doing Bathroom, those sort of things yeah. and showing your body oh. off. No, well, your backyard. In I, my backyard, I will pee yeah, his body yeah, yeah, yeah. dysmorphia. I'll walk to my backyard before I walk inside for sure. I mean, I just go. You know in what the I corner. did the other night? I prefer I to pee outside. If yeah, given yeah. the chance, I stood on the. I have a. One, nice. I have one of those uh, Vita bath <laughs> tubs. Uh-huh. But it doesn't have the jets in it. I don't know why it's Vitabath, uh, Vitabath brand, but they didn't put the jets in it. I'm like, well, that's pointless. I stood on the edge of that and I peed in the sink last night. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's usually a tall man's move. <laughs> I feel like you're. Uh... Well, I stood on the edge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I could, if I were to, I'd have to shoot it up. Uh, for another thing, Kyle. Um, <laughs> When anytime me and Daniel come upon some money in any way, um, our we go well, our go to is jet skis. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah he knew. we tell our accountant, we tell anything, anytime someone says, like, oh, you uh, got uh, you know, extra five thousand yeah. dollars in this, nope. we're, we're like jet skis. Jet skis. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. We all we're, we talk about uh, liquidating our 401ks, yeah. we always <laughs> go to jet skis, Kyle. It, it is a jet it's ski our, scenario, most and nothing time. else. You guys have jet skis? No, no, no. no. It's a them. fantasy. Have you ever been on one before? <laughs> hey, look, if I had cheated the They're museum, not even that fun. If I, if I had cheated the museum or lied to them in some way and I was on the lam or leaving uh, you know, with my reputation, I would probably yeah. be uh, leaving Orlando on a jet ski. Maybe hey. that's where you can find Aaron, living yeah. on a jet ski. <laughs> living on a jet, jet ski Going around Bal- Lake Baldwin. But, yeah. but I feel jet ski life. But that's what trash people think. But that's what the trash people fantasize yeah. about is jet skis. Even though we know they're not that fun. They're We've not. been on the jet skis. And they're we, not that great. But, but it's the epitome of the most fancy thing we could buy, <laughs> which is trash. Yeah. Uh, so it's I feel a like Kyle, water motorcycle. Yeah, yeah. And also another thing is appreciating art. I feel like Kyle, you can appreciate art, and I don't. I have the capacity. I you got, don't appreciate anything. I went to the <laughs> Louvre one time uh, in in Paris. Yeah, uh, did it make a move? And, and uh, is make that a the, move at the. Is that like the, you're spending a, a lot of money on things you hate? <laughs> well, that's yeah, yeah, his wife. Yeah, yeah. Like, she takes him all these trips <laughs> yeah, yeah. and makes him do all this stuff, and is he is gla- miserable. Is He's not the, fulfilled. The glass pyramid one, which is the that's oh. the, is that the Louvre? Uh, uh, I think it is. Yeah, you've been. This guy's been. I didn't go. You went. He's been to the Sydney Opera House. He's been to the Louvre. Have you been to Sydney? Opera House? No, no. Oh, never, I thought you had. No, but I, I, oh wait, she's yeah, been to delicious. she's been to the Taj Mahal. <laughs> yeah. She's been to everything. Yeah, well, they travel. Her mom's a nice. flight attendant. That's the oh. that, that's uh, white trash fancy. <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> it's a buddy pass fancy. Uh, but you go into I go into Louvre and there's buddy pass fancy, and they're showing me all this artwork that is uh, the you know insane. Uh, you saw the Mona Lisa, right? yeah, Mona Lisa. Yeah. But uh, the Mona Lisa, everybody not says that that it's not that impressive yeah. because it's Tiny. small, whatever. But I'm talking about other things that are like gigantic paintings or whatever, and I'm looking at them. I'm like, wow! Like I, the big ones, I'm like, wow, they're big. It must have taken a long time to paint. That's impressive to me. I, you know, but I, I like, don't understand. I like those grandiose paintings where it's like a battle scene and there's oh, like sure. people fighting, and there's usually some fat guy <laughs> naked <laughs> and they're stabbing him, tiny... and he's got his whole uh, guts. Yeah. Uh, he's <laughs> drawn a corner. He is naked and his <laughs> ween is out. And I'm there's like, a tiny if you're elevator. Like, I'm like, did they? <laughs> strip it nude or did he run into battle naked? See, I can't appreciate that. And then other people are looking at it like they're seeing something I'm not. I'm just looking at it. I'm like, oh, I've <laughs> well, you seen know, you... Toy Story. <laughs> that seems more <laughs> possible. <laughs> Hey, that's like, an art. You're just going to look at it yeah, and be like, yes, yes, excellent, yes. Yeah, yeah, but I'm like, what are you looking at? What, are you looking yeah. at the brush strokes? Are you looking at what? I don't You know see what? It. I just play a game where they go, I'll count the cherubs. One, <laughs> two, <laughs> three, four, so, five. See, that's what count I don't. The and I think that takes some sort of uh, genetic fanciness that I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it is. I just. Where do we go now, <sighs> Kyle? Uh, the uh, Orlando. How do we. I don't know where to say thank you. Don't Orlando. listen to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So Another thing, I forgot to tell you. So, where do we go from uh, from here? So, we got a, a board member in charge. Uh, they're, they're uh, I, I guess, and they'll continue. Or they're, uh, hopefully yeah, they're, they're going to have to find a new. It's it's a it's a it's a build over. And I, you know, I'm I'm kind of writing a little op ed myself uh, that I don't know if it's going to publish or not. Uh, to kind of go with the one from yesterday, if you should check it out. OrlandoWeekly.com. Alex uh, Galbraith and Jessica. Uh, 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 
and Matt and I uh, contributed to it. It's a great article, but it, it, I kind of had this thing about, well, they have to start from blank. And that's a good thing. You know, if you really kind of screw up, start over. But I feel like, just like Hassan had said in a response to, to this, uh, they wrote, wrote to me that uh, maybe get back down to the people. Do some stuff that's more interesting. You know, like... You've got these great, like the Cam Kids programs is great. Yeah. It you know, is. Stuff like, you know, like. See, a, that's the part that stinks is I will say that Maisie absolutely adored and loved her camp. N- n- nothing but awesome from me and Andrea's perspective as parents about the people there, the staffing, how kind they were, how it's organized. Top tier. Amazing. Now, did you hear about the, the museum in Baltimore that had the guards do a show? Mm-mm. Think, okay, this was a brilliant. That is a really good idea. Concept. So. I think one of the upper management at the, this museum in Baltimore, I can't remember the name for some reason, but um, <clears throat> would spend their lunch hour talking to some of the guards and getting their input on the works. And they had fascinating takes on because they're sitting around them all day looking yeah. at them. Oh, wow. Yeah, they know. And they let the guards curate an exhibit. It made national, international news. It had great turnouts. But it was like, here's a person who may never, ever have been a... a Maybe work for a security company. They're like, okay, tonight you're going to be at the so-and-so. Tonight you're going to be here. You have to be at the museum. That's where you're assigned to. And maybe that kind of changes your life. You see something that you relate to. It could be a, you know, a painting from the Renaissance era, something super modern, something you don't understand. You know, these people might go home and Google this stuff and be like, hey, you know, that painting I look at all day, I look up this guy's life story. It's quite fascinating. You know, and I thought, not to say the museum or Orlando Museum should copy that idea, but stuff like that. That may be kind of, you know, probably not that expensive to produce. It has big resonance. And, uh, you know, and one of the other questions I think is, uh, that hasn't been answered is, like, talk about, you know, cheap to produce. How much money was spent on this debacle? And how much of it came from taxpayers? Yeah. Did anyone well, profit off of it? The merchandising. And the merchandising for sure. came well, from here. Yeah. Well, I'm that, not going to say the name off, off the bat, but they're yeah. known for doing tchotchkes and swag. Sure. Uh oh, that was not the whole company. Yeah, that was not where we go. <laughs> uh, you know. It's a good company to do quality stuff. Because we know Tchotchkes and we know Swag. <laughs> yeah, we know a lot. We I'm they call it, Yeah, I was going to take that one. I'll be, uh, you know what? I appreciate you taking so, that. Well, Kyle, I'm glad you brought that up because, like, what about the other people in, that work there? They were like, oh, I so would be like, well, hold on. Didn't you know? Like, uh, like it wasn't just one guy. Because, for instance, yeah. I thought about this when the FBI finally kicked down our door and then drags me away uh, and then starts uh, taking all our... Well, I run uh, for the bathroom. <laughs> and, they, they, and you know what? Believe it or not, I flush myself down the toilet <laughs> like drugs. It's hard to do, but I've only done it once. You know, I, I, I it. thought about doing that. Like, you know, thinking, Should I hire a couple of goons like in the middle of this to drag us all away? FBI oh, on but air. But then see, you're fabricating things and then we're well, just like him. <laughs> and we're just like him. But my point know? being, when they drag me away and they start taking all the files and filing cabinets... Yeah. And they, well, there's only one file. Okay, like, then I'll help them carry it out. Uh, Daniel and Samantha, I mean, they knew kind of what was going on. No. Like, they were complicit, at least. No. They kind of had an idea. The only person you talk to is they, Sam, they, and that's when I'm gone. They heard me on the phone with making shady business deals. They heard me uh, 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 freaking out about some I'll money. I'll threaten me. Okay, I will, I'll share something mildly embarrassing. So it's their fault, kind of, too. I'll they should, blackmail me. I'm, I'm going to share something that's related, unrelated, mildly embarrassing with Kyle here that I hear. That I've heard, and maybe Sam has heard it, the uh-huh. last, maybe the last two weeks. Oh. No, no. Every day, Tom will be at his desk. It's, it's quiet. <laughs> Sam's at her desk quiet. Tom's at his desk quiet. I'm at my desk quiet. Type in your world, kind of doing her thing. His phone will ring. It'll be his wife. He'll go, hello? And then he'll go, hey, babe. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Okay, bye. Every day she calls you and yells at you for one thing. You say you're sorry and hang up. Every day you've done that. Every day I've heard it. That's the, uh, she calls you, wake up. 10 a.m. I'm sorry. <laughs> she is the 10 a.m. I'm sorry. You wake uh, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you get a call and you say you're sorry <laughs> yeah. for screwing something up. And yeah, yeah, yeah. She hangs up on you. Yeah, every, every day. <laughs> every day. At the every so, day at the same so, time. Yeah, I make a lot of And it makes me laugh. I, I laugh. And I, I shouldn't laugh at that. But I, it's funny to it, me. Well, the repetition of it's funny. It's yeah. 
so great. I microdose <laughs> mistakes throughout the day, throughout all day. Uh, I microdose mistakes. That's a title. <laughs> That's for a something. T-shirt. We write the stuff down. Yeah. And uh, and then there's something, and then they compile up, and then it finally uh, breaks Boils over. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then my wife is like, "What are they doing?" And yeah. I'm like, "I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry." Yeah, yeah. That she, and then it's how's but, the boys? But then she's got to go because she's busy, and you'll be like, oh, "Okay." Bye. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know how busy she is. She calls Tom <laughs> fifty times a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, a lot of mistakes. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you, know, yeah. you don't know what he's doing. Uh, so, uh, Kyle, uh, are you going to do a follow up? Uh, I know you wrote a uh, story about this. Is, this, is there going to be a follow up? Well, we had, one came out yesterday. Okay. That was uh, you know Jessica Brushnong, Matt Moyer, Alex Goldbraith, and, and I all kind of contributed to it. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to hear, like it's like Sam Flack said in his letter, hear more from uh, a lot of people uh, from the community more. I'm glad Terry Olson made a remark. I'm glad Ann Escamani made a remark. I've got uh, Swanberger's remark. I reached out to several artists in the current exhibit. Haven't gotten any resp- replies back. They also, too, may be advised per as per the PR for it to say yeah, anything. Don't touch it. Yeah. Uh, a few other artists have been involved. I don't, um, but, I, I, you know, I, I don't think this is the death knell. I think this is, a, you know, like... I think it's a good thing. Put up the, the, the border... Pardon our dust yeah. as we remodel, but by all means, go to Snap, go to Manello, go to sure. Rollins, uh, Cornell, go to uh, 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 Morse, you know, City Arts. You know, come in the Tom and Dan studio and see this fine work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love you, you guys like. Are we talking about? Look at this. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, a, yeah. that's a, a beautiful piece. That's how gods used to wrestle over uh, Just, domination. But you guys definitely have an aesthetic appeal. I mean, look at this. This office is cool looking. That's well, we, no, that, we only no. branded this out so we get big name comedians <laughs> to sit on our couch. And, and now they don't come. And now they don't come. <laughs> Did you guys have a hand in this? You hire designer. And you oh just, yeah, we well, have a branding the, agency. The yeah. DangerBrain.com. Uh, they, yeah, we've worked yeah. with them. They they're the artists. The Danger Brands are the artists. And they had to convince me to do this. By the way. I, at first, I resisted heavily. Yeah, you did. <laughs> the, did you guys light. have any any input on this? Oh yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, because those are great images. We, you, as you see your stickers all over town. And you like, in the in the Orlando uh, Pride, the soccer team. Yeah, yeah, Orlando. Are the most common stickers you see in the back of the, of the yeah, car. We stole their marketing ideas. We did. <laughs> yeah, 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 we did. Well, we worked within the organization of Orlando City, and we saw what they were it's doing. Fine. And they were like, do what they are Give doing. <laughs> you know, like people, the NFL coaches do this all the time. They just steal each other's ideas. Yeah. Yeah. And there's, you, steal good ideas. <laughs> yeah, we get the magic to steal a good idea. I know, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, we had know, Paul right. Westhead as our coaching uh, staff at one point. Oh, I didn't know that. The guy from the running gun, you know, Pat Riley years. Yeah, yeah. The yeah, Lakers. Yeah. He was one of our coaches. And how come, and it wasn't one of the good years. Like, how did this happen? Well, yeah. we've had a lot of great players pass through the halls of the Orlando Magic, right? We had Steve Kerr play first for one yeah. season. I feel like that's another part of growing pains. Like, all this, these again, powers, powers that be that on them are the... Amway schmucks. Right, right. You know, those they, those Nick and Poops. Wasn't there one guy that was like getting Coke on the. the oh, <laughs> and he called Dwight Howard, the voicemail messages. Yeah, that was a great. I mean, I was wow, gonna, that, that was a wonderful stuff. time. What happened to Dwight Howard? Yeah, well, there this was, was, I mean, ten, this more like, than 10 yeah, years ago. Yeah, more than 10 years ago, there was some, uh, some higher up with the Magic who, like, got, you know, it sounded like he was inebriated and, like, was calling up Dwight Howard and leaving, like, a voicemail message. And then they got a hold of it and they played it. And it was just like he sounded, you know, a little. And then there was, know, like, happy. rumors yeah. that he was getting stuff delivered on the uh, like literally during a game yeah. uh, like courtside where you're sitting there and there's courtside like, that's just a bunch of uh, yeah, just uh, not, owner just, embarrassment there's no, one, there's no one there to, to see the action happen because the fans don't come yeah, out for so the game ba- it was bad stuff but you know but for those of us in the media when we would see it we, oh, man, it's it, good it must suck becoming stinking rich and then realizing you're like ah oh, I've ruined my kids <laughs> I love yeah. stinking rich start like over I cheese. need a new family <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah because you got stinking rich and you're so busy getting rich, and, you, and the and the money ruined. Uh, well, that's your why you get kids. a second family, and you, and you have yeah, a younger you need wife. The, you need the second family. with new kids because those older kids. I mean, they're okay, but they're your old kids. But you they're spoiled, ruin them. You're too you rich. Start over with the new second kids. family, <laughs> and then it cancels them out because if you get two good kids with the new young wife, and you got two spoiled, ruined kids with the old wife, then you get uh, offset yeah, equals zero, yeah. and then you're this good in heaven. Knows. You go to heaven. Remember that guy Charles Corral on the road Sunday morning? Yeah. That guy had two families. And why not get it? Well, oh, you're right, he did. Pre internet age. Yeah. We think, like, that's my daddy. No, that's my daddy. Like, 
Get, famous guy on TV every yeah. week. You got two different families. They had to have known about each other. We should give more credit to the people that have two secret yeah. family. You know two family. T- today, oh, that's, that's hard to pull that's off. A skill. Today, that's hard, Tom man. and Dan, we <laughs> salute those of you like, that are living double lives. Yeah, well, everybody always calls <laughs> them monsters, you. but I'm like, at least give them credit for the amount of effort it took to do this. Well, <laughs> wait, wait a I can barely do one. Why are they monsters? They don't have to be monsters. They're only monsters to one set of family. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. The other family, they're uh, angel. Yeah, on he Earth. goes back and forth. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, Kyle. Uh, uh, thanks for coming hey, in. Thanks for having uh, me. We um, appreciate, appreciate it. it. Go check out uh, the articles. Go read those. Do Orlando. Stuff. And where can people hear your show? Uh, right now, I'm subbing on WCF here and there. Uh, back, I've been on the air a lot this week. Uh, show is still kind of working on some kinks and working on some new ideas. Uh, ArtsOrlandoWeekly.com. The new article's out now. It's cool, guys. I really appreciate you having me on. And Anytime, man. Also... Again, you guys did some good civic duty, all of you. Well, we appreciate a lot, that. A lot of people talk, talk about that. I wrote I down hear. hero yeah. on my paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm it's wearing, G-Y I spelled G-Y-R. I am wearing a full Marine outfit right now. <laughs> nice. People, you can't see me. But I am wearing, a, I was never in the military, but I'm wearing a full dress blues. <laughs> without underwear, right? Yeah, yeah, without underwear. Uh, well, they're Mitt Romney. They're big. <laughs> <laughs> they're magic. Yeah, magic underwear. All right. Well, uh, we'll see you next week.